Howdy dorks, how's it going? Oh, it's Torf Fortress Day. It's Monday, it's Uncharted Day. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, today's a special day. Today's an exciting day. Today's a cat day. Today's a Jezebel day. Every day's a Jezebel day, isn't it? Eh, what? Come here. Today is special because we're playing Dwarf Fortress, but this might be not the last episode, but this might be the last episode for a bit, a little bit, a little bit. We're gonna, I'm going to take... Uh, I totally forgot this. I was just sad doing work and then boom. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm here to make you happy. Um, but yes, um, today I am I'm going to be shifting my focus from from Dwarf Fortress from Dwarf Fortress and then on our next stream day a very exciting new game is coming out that I'm anticipating I'm gonna obsess over for a little bit and then we will probably come back to Dwarf Fortress I'm not I can never give up this game forever this I mean we still haven't even done adventure mode we're still waiting on adventure mode so don't don't worry the, don't worry but remind the new game Armored Core 6 <laughs> The next from software game. Um, we we've done Elden Ring, we've done Elden Ring randomized and speedrun and all sorts of stuff. We've done Sekiro. I haven't played the others. I played I played Dark Souls one like a tiny tiny bit, but I did I got I gave up. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, another game is coming out and it's different. It's an Armored Core game. It's not a Dark Souls game, but it's by the same people. And they, they say they've taken all of their lessons that they learned from, from their adventure games and they're returning back to an older franchise with mech combat. Everything we've seen from the trailers is just bonkers. So excited. Anyway, that's for Thursday. There's plenty of time for hype on Thursday. We, we will have it in our hands and we will be playing it and everything will be great. But in the meantime, we need to know what we're doing with our dwarves. Because I don't... I. I, I mean, I don't want to just like ignore the dwarves. I don't want to just stop playing and ignore them for a while. Um, so what I'm thinking is going to happen is that this is going to become a temporary success in, succession fortress. Because why not? Because it's my fortress and I can do what the heck I want with it. So today we're today's going to be a normal live stream. I could take on your dwarf save, but I might ruin it. See, that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. That's the thing. I am throwing caution to the wind. I have made a very nice, perfect fortress here. Face Earths has become my crowning achievement in Dwarf Fortress. I, I don't say that lightly. This is my most efficient, most functional fortress I've ever made. And I want to give it to you. I want you to, to play with it. And by you, I mean like you specifically, JM, but also like anyone else watching this, I mean you. Um, because that sounds fun. So what my, my goal here is I'm going to kind of tie up some loose ends in this stream. I want to kind of put a bow on it. See, yeah, you YouTube, you YouTubers. Um, I'm going to kind of tie up some loose ends and make sure everything makes sense here. And we're going to start our crusade against the goblins. And then I'm going to stop playing for a bit. And I'm going to turn it into a succession fortress. And we're going to organize that in my Discord. I'm, I'm going to post about it in a couple different places. Obviously, people who are following me on YouTube and Twitch and whatever will get uh, first claim at it because that's where I'm telling you about it first. Um, but I'm probably gonna go find some like I might post about it on the Dwarf Fortress forums I might post about it in the Dwarf Fortress discord. I might just try to find some other people uh, I might just walk up to someone on the street and ask them if they want to play Dwarf Fortress in my fortress for a little while And then we'll see what happens and if it breaks it breaks and I'm so okay with that I'm so okay with that because that's that's the that's the spirit of Dwarf Fortress that I think we might we haven't lost sight of but the, the main thing that you need to know about Dwarf Fortress is that losing is fun. And we haven't lost yet. So how much fun could we have had if we haven't lost yet? So. I, I want you to lose. <laughs> um, 
at, at any rate, I mean, we can talk about this more in detail. We'll be we'll be going at this for a little while. Uh, but in uh, yeah, let's just let's unpause and we'll we'll take a look at what we have going on here. Uh, my my goal, so just to kind of be transparent about it. Um, Aside from just also listening, oh hey, it's uh, it's Bathory's sister is back again. Is it Han? Back once again. Bathory's half sister, zombie, zombie half sister. Anyway, the, uh, we're streaming today, obviously, and we're gonna do stuff in our fortress, and we're gonna make everything nice, and we're gonna kill some goblins. But also, um, I'm going to make like a little fort tour style video. Where I kind of, I'm gonna edit something down and I'm gonna show what's going on in the fortress and kind of give a, a, a head to toe description of all the systems that we have in place here because we have made quite the complex beast. Um, so, but that will probably be edited from the stuff in this stream. So if at times I talk in like a context where it's like, that would only make sense in an edited, edited video that's different from this one, then that's that's what's going on. Um, we're well, towards the end, we'll go through layer by layer and give a nice description of everything head to toe of this fortress. And then I'm gonna turn that into its own little video in addition to this stream VOD. So that will be a thing. Uh, but that's that's this afternoon, that's later. So generally just resuming where we were picking off last stream. Are you done already? You leaving? You're leaving. You were here for five minutes. <laughs> Weird. Um but yes. At any rate. The thing that happened most recently in our fortress here. Yeah, she's done. Is we completed some projects. Um Oh yeah, we're we're moving. We made some uh, bronze minecarts. We're gonna put the bronze minecarts in our minecart trap, and those will hopefully be a little bit more durable when they smack into goblins. Um, but we have uh, our menagerie here. We have Dirlu Mucus Depths, who is here ready and waiting for some goblins to show up. Uh, hopefully, we get some some more goblins showing up and we can demonstrate how these traps work. Um, yeah, uh, but th this is done. I mean, this is just this is just waiting for, for some goblins to show up. Uh, and this is our just a little confrontation pit where we'll have goblins come in and then we'll, you know, merge the sides and then the goblins will fight Durlu and we'll see who wins. That'll be good. Um, oh, and I'm, I made some designations off stream. As you can see, they've already built these walls because they're ridiculously fast. Um, but um, I want to make, yeah, they're even, they're already starting to move the cages. We're going to make an animal training area because we don't have one of those. Um, I was thinking about what we're going to do with all of our, we have all these giant Kias and cages still from like 20 years ago when they were real a real problem but they're just still here because our the things that we have to deal with wild animals like our, our little spike pit doesn't really handle birds very well so uh, instead we're just gonna train them I guess so I made a stockpile here for the animals and it is only gonna take uh, Kia's I believe giant Kia's uh, yeah giant Kia um, and this one should be giving to it. Yeah, there we go. So. And then this is a training zone. And then, yeah. Um, and then this is just like a, a meat stockpile, basically. So uh, we're just going to start. <laughs> we're just going to start training the giant Kias, because why the heck not? Uh, this one we'll, we'll ignore because it's our bait for our web farm. But the rest of these, I mean, we're just going to say any trainer. And we're just going to assign them all to be trained. And if 
my understanding is correct, which is always a big ol' asterisk. Um, what was I just gonna say? Oh, they can stay in the cages while they are being trained. We don't have to let them out to train them. So we're not gonna. We also have a couple of undead things that we could apparently train. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, and the only thing that we have caught that we can train otherwise are the birds. So we're gonna train the birds. Um, and if we go down to overall training, we could even come down to... Do we have any... Any knowledge at all about training Kias? Probably not. It doesn't look like it. So we are going to further our, our civilization's knowledge of Kias by training them. Because why not? Interestingly, as someone who doesn't really understand this game well, I think it'll be much, much easier taking on a working fortress and starting with a blank slate. Yeah, and that's kind of my anticipation too. Um, obviously, you'll want to have a, a cursory understanding of how the game works, uh, kind of the basic systems, but I, I think you do. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can you can open up this game and it will just kind of... It's going, right? I'm not having to do anything to make sure it's still surviving. Um, you'll have to do things like keeping an eye on the food levels, uh, making sure all the things that I've made are still functioning. Um, bending off the goblins when they show up, but by and large, this is there, there's some training wheels here, right? We should swap, and you can see where I went right or wrong. I feel like that could be great content. Yeah, I still do want to do the the Fort Nightmares idea. Um, that might be something a little bit later, like maybe when we return from from Armored Core, maybe. Um, but I I still want to do like I want to like unstick viewer submitted fortresses. I think that would be really fun. Yeah, so that might still happen in the future. Um, yeah. So anyway. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna... I opened up a little door here. Join the things. Hooray. We could just smooth everything. Why don't we smooth everything? Why don't we smooth everything? Not everything, everything, obviously, but, you know. Um, all the things where people go. Which is most things. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, we got some spare dwarf power at the moment. Dwarves of the Faithful Ore are now know a few facts about giant Kia training. And we also have obtained general familiarity. So yeah, that was quick. So we're going to train some Kias. Because why not? Um, we're also training some dwarves. Um, the other thing I did off stream was I went into everyone's uniform. And I gave them explicitly steel things. So you can see now it says steel breastplates, steel greaves, steel shields, and you picked a steel sh steel spear even. Um, so that's good. Uh, so do we need some more breastplates? Do we actually need more breastplates? Holy cow. I am surprised. But the rest of this seems fine, unless you need a... Now you have a shield. You have a shield assigned at least. Okay. Let's make a handful more steel rest plates. I'm very surprised that we're short on those, but you know. That's why we have magma forges. Now uh, let's just make five of those. We're even still working on bronze mine carts. Or was this a... No, that's a one-time order. I wanted to make more, that's right. We didn't have quite enough, so I made some more. Or we're gonna make some more. Uh, but yeah, we have military squads that are being trained up. Um, High Master Hammerdorf, very nice. Adequate Axdorf. Novice Axdorf. Of course, our, our older veterans here are very, very good. 
um, hopefully imparting some of their knowledge onto our novices here. Uh, but they'll continue that. And then once we have some, once we're confident that everyone has their gear on, uh, we're gonna send them out into the wild. And that's gonna be their fate. And some of them won't return, and that's fine. Because they're new and expendable. <laughs> um, and then what else? We can't export press plates. Okay, whatever. Um, I also rearranged some of our uh, stockpiles again. Oh yeah, and also, so we had all magmas smelters and forges. I'm going to add in a single magma kiln and a single magma glass er, forge. Glass furnace. Is that right? Did I grab the right thing? Talking about a thing and doing the thing at the same time. Magma glass furnace. I want to select my material because everything's mica. And then I want a magma kiln. Also out of mica. So then we'll have one of each of those uh, for, you know, if anyone gets a random glass strange mood, then there will be a place to do that. Uh, we do have a little bit of sand. Uh, we won't be doing these things in quantity, but they'll be here for you if you want them. Did we just kill a giant Kia? I just missed that. I just dismissed that. <laughs> oh, look! And they're just smoothing from one side to the other. That's very satisfying. Holy cow. The smoothin' party. Okay, well, they'll keep working on that. They'll keep training. Um, and yeah, so I moved bars and blocks are down here, so now they are directly above the, the magma forges. Um, and then this was... Oh, this is going to be our melt stocks. So this is set up to take from... No. It's set up the wrong way, isn't it? It's going to be set up to take from... Armor. And weapons. And ammo. And it is set up to take um, all arrows, because we don't care about maintaining arrows. Um, made All things made of metal, uh, obviously, because uh, I don't care about bone and wood. I don't care to melt them, at least. Um, but we have a, a melt stockpile down here that is set to take ammo and weapons and armor of certain materials from our main armor and weapon and ammo stockpiles upstairs. Mainly like copper stuff and iron stuff, um, and I think bronze stuff. And then as it filters into here, we will just designate it for melting and it will get melted down here and it will get turned into bars and the bars will end up here. And then we can use the bars for whatever we want. And that's the thing we'll do. Um, and yeah, look at this, we're all, we're all good. We got a whole kit here. All of our wood is still going. All of our magma is still here. Very cool. Uh, we're still engraving. Still <laughs> taking our time with engraving. Uh, but our engravers are getting good, right? We have a we have a legendary engraver. Holy cow! And a grandmaster and an adept. Very cool. Very very cool. So that should that should continue. Um, we should engrave like everything. Um, and we have books going. Yeah, we, uh, we're up to 62 books. Very, very cool. More engraving stuff down here. Did you have a nice weekend? I did. I did. I mostly worked on my cosplay. So that was nice. It's nice to nice to work on it. Nice to put, you, put your hands to something when you have a, a task put out in front of you. Um, but not too eventful, I guess. Um, yeah, I went shopping. <laughs> oh, we should check like our, our clothing stocks and make sure we're actually good on all that. All of this, all this is just 
good. It's all good. It's all good. We're just all good here. Uh, I'm going to use our Dia Pack thing here to do auto clothing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run it without parameters, so it's just going to tell me what's going on. Uh, we have 30 some odd units needing body wear and shoes, and a whole bunch needing hats. But also, we have. We have a whole bunch of footwear. Holy cow. How likely is it I will know what this cosplay is? It's a good question. Yeah, I haven't actually revealed what it is. Um, it's entirely possible that you just haven't seen the thing that it's from, in which case, uh, you know, <laughs> you won't you won't recognize it. But someone's gonna recognize it. Um, it's not an it's not an obscure thing. Um, I guess I shouldn't say that obscure. It's definitely a series that people know about. I didn't have to dig too deep for this. Um, so we're good on footwear, clearly. And we have... We have cartoon, though. Yes. It is... Here's a here's a hint. It is, it is an American... It's an American cartoon, but it has a lot of anime influences. Yeah, not... No, it's not a video game, not live action. It is an animated series. Yep. Yep, yep. That might have been a very explicit hint. Now, if you know it, then you probably know it. Um, maybe, yeah. Um, so, like, we have much headwear. We have so we have headwear, but we also need more headwear. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna add some jobs. I'm gonna add some jobs. Uh, let's do yarn caps and yarn hood. Maybe some silk caps and silk hoods. Uh, and then might as well just add some robes. Maybe some pants. Not leggings, they're just just trousers. And then some some gloves. There. Um and I'm gonna leave them at ten for most of those except for the headwear, I guess. No, not that. I wanna do like twenty. We've been hard at work making cloth and dyeing our cloth and all that, so definitely want to make use of our giant stockpile. Uh, and yeah, see, things are still going. Things are going. A stray giant Kia has been slaughtered. Did I, did I click the wrong buttons? Did I do the wrong thing? No, I clicked train. Is Auto Butcher... I still have Auto Butcher on. Ugh. It is... Okay. I mean, I guess if we're gonna slaughter him, I guess that works. Mm. No. I just... Oh my gosh, this interface... Uh, remove butcher orders. Set whole row, delete. Toggle watch, there we go. No, do not watch the giant Kias. There. I know it isn't this, particularly with the clues, but it could be a hobbit jacket. The green and the sort of coat, tails look, dapper hobbit vibes. That's true. You're not... It's definitely not a hobbit, but um, I think you're getting the right vibes from it. I am... My, sus my suspicions now as it would it might actually be, but I don't want to... You don't want to guess? I guess in the Discord. Just go guess it in the Discord then. Um, I am... 
Yeah. Um, I am curious if, like, at what point it comes together enough that it's that it's guessable, that it's recognizable. Anyway, uh, we will. I think. I guess we've stopped slaughtering the pythias. Hilarious. Was that because they showed up over here? Yeah. Okay. So you can slaughter things so long as you train them for five minutes? I've never thought of that before. Because you can't... You can't slaughter things from this tab, right? You can't slaughter a Kia who gets into a cage. You'd have to, like, let it out and kill it with your military or whatever, right? But you could also just train it a tiny, tiny bit. As soon as it shows up here, then you could slaughter it. You can make them available as, as pets. <laughs> That's an awful idea. Should I set some traps for you? Before I hand this off? It'd be pretty funny. The bookkeeper been slung by a honeybee. Uh, okay, yeah, so they cancelled. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Now, what else are we doing? We kind of finished some projects up last time. And we're, yeah, look, we're going to town on all this. Um, I'm mostly just looking for when those breastplates get made, if that's, yeah, they're working on it. Oh, and look, they've already, like, look, they've already sorted all this out. Oh, but the leather showed up. I didn't want the leather in here. Thought I told you not to. Or no, okay. So I should say not this. Right. So we don't want leather in the melt pile. But now we look at here and we just have a stockpile that is filled with worn iron boots. Worn iron breast or copper breastplates. Like this is useless. This is this is these are goblin gifts. This is goblinite. And there's no need for us to hold on to it. Um hopefully they're gonna like take the leather stuff out of here. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna come back with the leather stuff. Hilarious. But I think I just put in iron and copper and Bronze, maybe? There's probably not a lot of bronze uh, stuff that we have. But yeah. Like, this is all... That's that's all good. So what you could do... Yeah, they're gonna come <laughs> uh, organize this. But we can just do a, a mass melt. I'm gonna do, like, one, one crate. But now everything in this crate that can be melted is designated to be melted. And we have a auto-repeat uh, melt job somewhere. I don't know if it's active. Make steel bars. Everyone's working on making steel. Also, the cat made a stinky. Wonderful. Melt a metal object. Um, yeah, so checking for its conditions. Yeah, so so long as there are items designated to be melted, that job will task them to be melted at our magma shops. And that costs nothing. It doesn't cost us fuel or anything. It'll just turn a broken iron breastplate from a goblin into some metal bars. Hooray. Also statues. Stoneware. When did this happen? Did we make more statues? Are you making statues in here? You're making statues. Did I tell you to make statues? <laughs> it must just still be in here. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Interesting that one of these wasn't porcelain. Stoneware. The rest of these are porcelain. Huh! Oh, yeah. Um, and we're, we're like, getting through our wool, aren't we? Finally. Oh my god. Or no, it's all here now. But this is set to give, or no, it should be, it should be set to give to here. Yeah, that's better.
Yeah. Okay. So things are getting moved. Everyone's happy except for one person. Who's grumpy here? Bath. Meditate on metals. I have communed with Etur. I am filled with wonder. Uh, restless after being unable to wander for too long. Yeah. Lonely, worried, lonely. Uneasy. Okay. Why are you so grumpy? Pleasure remembering practicing at the archery target. Oh, you're one of our ranged ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One of our legendary Marks Dwarves. Hey, look, a bird! Stray giant Kia. Okay, well, this is what our fortress looks like now. I didn't think they would uh, just get let out like that. I assumed that they would stay in until I told them that they could get out. Um, that's cool. That won't cause any problems. The main downside to this is that uh, wild animals will just kind of randomly become not wild animals. So we'll see if this was a terrible idea. <laughs> well then, how many do we have? Have we already gotten... We've, ar we've already at least kind of trained all the ones that we have. All of them at the top here. Yeah. Look at all this. Look at all our critters. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. Nine stray giant Kias. Why don't we just make them pets? Why why not? Who wants. Who wants a pet bird? Anyone wants a pet giant, possibly murderous bird? You are welcome to it. I'm wondering who who's gonna volunteer. Um, but yeah. Uh, so speaking of statues, we could probably find some places for more statues. Oh, there's even some right here. We should we should encrust the ones that we're making. Uh, so let's go back to our encrusters. Encrust furniture with cut gems. And then, do we have more raw gems? We do. We sure do. Uh, so we're just going to cut gems on repeat at our other two. Uh, oh, also, I was rearranging some of our shops here uh, because... This will be... Is that how I wanted to do it? That's probably fine. Um, because we only have two farmer's workshops working on the spin thread thing. Um, and I think I'm going to turn that into four of these. I'm going to do... I'm going to do these four working on spin thread. We're just going to get their own individual work order. Um, amount of things. Yeah, that's fine. Spin thread. Repeat the thing. Hi. <laughs> Can I help you? Just bring in your stink. I miss any this one. And thread. I'm gonna, because that's all these we're doing. They're just doing it one at a time. Uh, but we'll, they can do it in batches, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna remove these two. 
Um, and our die, our die is right here. Which is fine. Should, uh, ideally this would be like slightly different, but I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care that much. Oh, someone's bird. Is this someone's bird? Nope, just a bird. Hi, bird. <laughs> oh, you messed up your thing. There we go. Okay. So all the wolves there, and, and yeah, now these are gonna all activate. Cool. And then these are all taking work order jobs. I'm gonna do two more dyers. Uh, this don't matter. Sure. Oh, copper bucket? Why not? I guess. <laughs> Why do we have so many copper buckets? Okay, uh, yeah, okay, Giant Kia has reverted to a wild state. But these are the ones in the cages. Hmm, why are they staying in those cages? Can they be gaining, giving to... No, I did everything backwards. I just did everything backwards. What about this one, are you also backwards? You're not set up to do anything. <laughs> uh, okay. We should... Pick from overflow. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two dyers and we'll, I mean, maybe call it six clothers? all this thread spinning. Spin the thread! Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, so where were those? There was a couple of alcoves here, weren't there? There we go. And let's do statues, a little planner, uh, edit filter. We want them decorated. We want them... from porcelain. Porcelain. Because it doesn't even really matter. We just have we have some statues. I just care that they're decorated. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just do that. We should make some more pl platinum. We ran out of platinum, didn't we? We had a little bit of platinum. Um, let's go into here. I'm just gonna manually add. Make platinum? No. Smelt native platinum ore. We'll just do that on repeat. Okay, I've made some guesses. Excellent. Crafts. Aha. Uh -huh. Scanning real quick. Uh, number one is is wrong. Uh, number two, no. Oh, three, yeah. Ah, okay. You are very close. You are very close, but you don't have the actual person. Not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> your your third guess is in the right universe, but not the right person. 
There's a there's a specific character that I'm doing. Zulban is back. Okay, how's our how's our dwarves doing? How's our attack squad doing? We're still still needing breastplates. Okay, so getting there. You're definitely getting there. You're def you're warmer. Definitely warmer. Um, okay. Hey, uh, we got some platinum. I'm curious how much platinum we'll end up with here. Um, and we can find some spots for, for more statues, realistically. we stuff in some statues? Oh, we got... We got a lot of... Got a lot of the spots. Yeah, okay. So we got some meat here for training. And all the Kias ended up here. Perfect. See, that's what I want. Yeah, perfect. Now... Oh, there's our Platinum, even. And Tetrahedrite. So I'm a little worried about our Marble situation. Because we... Because we've gone through a lot of it. Um... I think... I don't think there's any up this high. Hydrite and such. I think we're gonna have to be importing lignite and marble for this fortress to keep going. So that's that's a thing to keep in mind. Now this is all just fail, microcline. Yeah, nothing here. Direct, direct. So can you explain why we need to import those? Um, mostly it's because if we want to keep making things out of steel, we have magma and we have a ton of iron ore. Um, where's our, here's our, our overflow stockpiles. A lot of this is tetrahedra. We could also make like a bunch of copper. Um, but like the, the magnetite, we got quite a bit of magnetite in here. There's some gold in there. We could make gold statues. We should do that. Um, but because we have a, uh, a quite a lot of iron ore, and we have magma forges, the only thing that will is keeping us from making a whole bunch of steel is the fact that you need uh, flux, which is marble or chalk, or a couple of others. But marble is what we have on this map. Um, though I guess I should check to make sure we don't have the others as well. Um, and you also need coke, um, which is, so like bitumous coal and lignite, you turn into like fuel bars, they're called coke. Um, and you use those for like non-magma forge jobs as the way that you fuel the forge, like the actual heat energy. But steel is unique in that like, steel in real life, if you don't know, is basically iron plus a bunch of carbon. And the carbon comes from the coal. So even if you're using a magma forge, you still need the coal as an ingredient that goes into the steel itself. So, long story short, you need it for steel. Um, but you only need it for steel. If we want to make, like, copper, we could make copper for eons. We have so much tetrahedrite so much tetrahedrite and you can just turn that into bars you don't need you don't need to mess with flux you don't need to mess with uh with coke or anything for for making copper and, and bronze um so like that can be done forever but if you want to make if we want to keep making steel which we're probably going to want to do to keep outfitting uh our 
our Crusaders. Um, it'll be for making equipment for them. Does anything break if you don't import those things? Nothing would break. Um, you would just be unable to make more steel things. Um, and it's also important to note that that would be that is the case for making new steel things. If you get like if you import steel items, or if you like get steel stuff off a of goblin, though if goblins are wearing steel stuff, they have other problems. You, they usually aren't. If you melt a steel item into steel, you don't need to use blocks or fuel for that. That's just going from steel to steel. So that's just that's just a melt job. You end up with steel bars and you're good. Um, but to like m to turn iron into steel, you need some extra bits. So. Up until now, we've been able to get those extra bits from our from our ground, uh, but we we've, we've mined the bulk of our ground here, uh, microcline, because the main issue would be technological regression. <laughs> yeah, I guess rather than like oh farms start working right exactly yeah it wouldn't be a fatal thing to run out of. Uh, it just wouldn't be ideal. Um, adventuring, interesting. Here's limonite. See, like, here's even more more iron ore. We're not needing that necessarily. Here's more tetrahedrite. Uh, pyrite. This is all diorite. Let me remind myself what all the flux stones are. The marbles, marble and chalk are the big ones. At least they're the ones I see most frequently. Have you seen the Instagram bap.cat and it's just a cat playing cards against Mighty? No. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, okay. Calcite, chalk, dolomite, limestone, and marble. I think I've only seen marble and chalk on this map, though. Come here into stones. Mudstone shale, rock salt, diorite, and like dolomite. Diorite is not what we need. We need dolomite. They're so similar. We got 14 gold nuggets sitting around. Cobalite, tetrahedrite, jet. Yeah. Like, I don't even see any marble in here. We have some. Yeah, okay. We have 15 marble. We have chalk. We have chalk. Oh, where's all this chalk sitting around? Haha, <laughs> there's... Here's the chalk. Okay. We should get our chalk out of here. Yeah, hilarious. Okay, but then, like, this is chalk, too. Do we have more? Here's chalk. Here's chalk. Okay, so we should be we should be mining out all of this. There's more colonite. This is this is all chalk. Okay. Okay. So we're not so bad off then. I don't I mean the trick is going to be wow, this is all chalk. Okay, so we have chalk. The trick will be mining out from these areas without compromising other stuff. Like we have, we have so many things going on here. Uh, but what if we start from like... What's this? This is rock salt. I think this is too low. Gypsum, 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 rock salt, rock salt. There's probably some coal back here too. Oh, we should like, okay, let's do that. Let's... Yeah, that's fine. Let's dig some tunnels in, in here so we can see what we got. I have a lot of awkward corners. How would we get back here? We should check out what's back here, probably. 
Um, but this was all rock salt. We dug out this whole level. That's all rock salt. And then here, okay. Dearly is restless. So, uh, what? So this is for a trap. This is for that trap. This is for our farms and our kitchen. So that could connect to our, our quarries. That'd be fine. And then what's this? This is nothing? That's nothing. Or I guess it is now nothing. But it could become. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so the stairwell currently leads nowhere. But now it's gonna be for quarrying out some chalk here. Um, and we kind of want to go over here too. I mean, why not? We'll just do this. There's gonna be some digging. Um, and then this. This is defunct, right? Yeah, our our actual track goes that way. So this is this is just a uh, an orphaned orphaned thing. So we can dig that no problem. Yeah. There's even a piece of chalk just sitting there. Okay. Um, there's also we could come in here to get like this this chalk. Might as well. You could like smooth all this too. Um, so. so our caves are all closed, right? Uh, we're closed here. Oh, a tree ended up there. That's an inconvenient tree. Oh well. <laughs> uh, that door is closed. That door's closed. That door is closed. And that door's closed. Perfect. So then we're going to open our access here. And then I'm going to lower this one. We don't have any ghosts right now, right? Uh, we smelted all of our platinum. Cut all our gems. Forgotten Beast is fighting mole rats. Or moles, whatever. Aesop has been possessed. Making a bunch of clothes. Zetan is back. We have struck Bitumous Coal. Excellent. Yeah, see, perfect. Ooh, another one. Yulani, or Yanali, Nu, Nularinya, Nanira. A great ladybug composed of rock crystal. Oh my god. It has large mandibles and it is ravening, but where it's hunger for warm blood. Oh my god. Where where are you? Are you are you gonna fight someone? You're gonna fight someone. Cause this is cave three. A ladybug made of rock salt? Things made of things made of inorganic materials like that are traditionally kinda brutal. So we might want to actually catch this one. There's nothing up here for you to fight, is there? Okay. I mean that's fine. Hmm. I'm curious. And you probably fly too, right? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, it says ladybug. But it doesn't mention its wings specifically. Anyway, um, I'm going to unlock 
this empty chamber here and unforbid all the junk in it. And might as well also give a smoothing designation. Yeah, look, oh, it's all chalk. Okay, we're good on chalk. We're good on fluxstone. It's all, it's gonna be the fuel, which we're also gonna find some in here as well. So we're not as bad off of for that as I thought we were. Uh, but I should come down into our stockpiles, <laughs> all that thread, yeah, of course. Um, this is our flux stockpile. Which, I mean, it don't need to be bigger than that, uh, but we'll, we'll make it flux in general. And then say that it can take, it can already take chalk. Uh, but you can also take dolomite and limestone, not that we have any of that here. And what was the other one? Halcite. Yeah, I haven't seen that one either, but that's fine. Then the rest can go in here. It looks like it can go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does this give? It does give. Cool. Okay. Um, I also want to deal with our, our silly dyed animal thread here. Uh, so we'll do our dump trick again. So I want to get rid of the dump zone here. And then we'll come up to our library. And then re-add our dump right here. And then all Giant stoat hair thread. You're you're getting you're getting tossed. Not tossed. You're getting moved. And then I'll just dump the rest of these. And then they'll move those down to the library, down to the dump. Now, I think we have trained our dwarves as long as I care to train them. And I think they have... I mean, you should have stuff. Why don't you have your stuff on? Update equipment. I don't know if that does anything. Hi, bird. Bye, bird. Oh, and this got canceled because of... Oh, it's all going to cancel because of damp stone. Womp womp. Oh well. Um, this one worked fine. What's all this? Oh, that's all coal! Oh, we're good. I think we're good. I'm also gonna just put a floor here. Because, you know. But, like, all of this. We can just... I'm gonna put this on low priority, because it's obviously not a big priority, but... It's like urgent, urgent. Like, look at this. This is gonna be like all, all chalk and coal. Yeah, perfect. Oh, and they already smoothed all this. Yeah, grab, grab the chalk. have to like rotate them in and out so that I can get into each of these chambers. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, you're just gonna cancel every single one in here. Oh well, 
not much to be done about that. Um, but yeah, like we should have, if I see steel breastplates in here, yeah, we have boots, we have helms, there's a steel breastplate. There's one, there's two more. Okay, so we have them and we're saving. I guess let's see if we get some goblins right now. Do we get some goblins? Come to me, goblins. How's this? We still have all these honeybee remains sitting in here. See, that's... I don't know what to do about that one. Yeah. This is just all gonna... This is all gonna go. Slowly. You have you have wheelbarrows, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Um, and then oh, now we want to make platinum statues. Uh, furniture, platinum. at you and just do that until you're out of platinum and then you uh, gold smelt native gold I also do like silver smelt horn silver smelt yes yeah, well native silver I don't know how much we have but we have some may as well Random tied donkey hair thread in the hospital bed. Oh, have you... Oh, what are you needing? Hmm. Oh, you need rough gems? I just did all of my... I cut all the gems, and now you need rough gems. Okay. Let us find you some rough gems. You know there were some. This is all fine, right? This is all... How did this... Did I break something here? Does our kitchen garbage still work? I mean, it's empty. Huh. Because we push it down this one. Yeah, how are they getting up this? I feel like I broke something. Unless they're just using the same track for up and down, which is also fine and possible. Weird. I'll ignore that. Uh, here's some more pyrites. Uh, spinel. Smoky quartz. No, can't get those. Now, the other thing we can do is just go straight up for designating only gems. This will find them. Probably fine for our 
strange mood friend. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Begun a mysterious construction. Perfect. I fixed it. Yeah, look at all this. They're working on all that. They're working on all that. These all have all been decorated. Those got placed there. You can even dig out like... Something like that. Over here too. Yeah. That's all packed in there though. Cool. Well then. Um Oh yeah, okay. You're you're good. The rest of this like bauxite? I don't we don't really care about bauxite. <laughs> there's there's a cat in here now. Okay, so I'm just gonna lock. I don't really care about this one glove unless someone's coming to grab it right now. I don't think they are. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lock. And then I guess I wanna move and laugh, our hypno toad, down to here. I'm just gonna raise this. Uh, the Goblin Thief is fighting. What? Oh, we've, we've... We have thieves. Who didn't spot the thieves? The Elite Marksdorf. Who is here? Those are, those are all fine. I mean, okay. Whoever we found, we have dealt with, I guess, but they're in cages. <laughs> All of our beasts, holy cow. Strange. A thief must have snuck in. Yeah, I guess they could get in this way. They could sneak in through here right now. I guess I could... Let's close this. It's not... We don't need that side to be open. But we can get in through here. Um, okay, so that's closed, and then that's closed. And I guess you're not even gonna want... I guess let's... I guess let's try it. I'm gonna open these... I'm just gonna even open just the one. Are you gonna just path your way into the other one? Probably not. Let's open this. Because then it will technically be able to come out through here and up into our fortress. Farmer has created Simon Logan, Radic Id, an Orthoclase amulet. Neat. Thank you. Come on. Come on, Genlath. Do you want to come in? You, should, you, you can. It's right there. It's all for the taking. All for you. And we didn't get goblins this time. Which I think means that we are... Oh, there's the humans. I think we're going to send out our, our friends on a mission. And there was one... Yeah. There was one goblin site in particular that I saw last stream that I think we need to take care of. I think we need to go to the dark goblin pits of bad faith. 
which is like, it's even the closest one to us. It's, what's that? Um, clearly it is ordained that we must attack bad faith. Uh, but we're gonna take both of these squads and we're gonna say, What do we want to do? Either either pillage or raise. Or we could demand tribute. Conquer and occupy. Demand surrender and occupy. Um, good question. I don't know that we are good at sneaking. Uh, we do want to free prisoners. I don't care about. I don't care about other items and livestock though. I, if, if you have treasures and stuff, to bring those back, but I don't want their garbage. I'm curious, what if I what if I demand tribute? I've never demanded tribute before. Let's try it. Let's try it. And I think that's all I gotta do right on this mission yeah it just it's starts them immediately demand tribute from bad faith and raid arrow eagle that must have been older one so we'll just remove that yeah okay um so that will that will yeah cue them up to go demand tribute <laughs> from bad faith <laughs> Cool. That'll... You're just... You're just too comfy in here. What if we go... We could do it the other way. I don't know if that's going to help me. Pull that one. There is a lot of microcline around here. That's, that's to be expected. Of course. Um, I'm gonna have you come out this way. So I'm gonna open this one. And then I'm gonna have you out this way. I want you to go this way. You you want to do it? That's open. You have a path to the surface. No, <laughs> human visitor. Human swordsman just wandering through the trap. <laughs> you do you. That was not the way that you needed to come in, but you're you're welcome to, I guess, right? Yeah, you, you, that was pointless. Oh, and here goes. Or no, is that? Are you on? No, you're a visitor. Yeah. Okay. Um, our dwarves, however, are working on getting themselves set up to leave. Yeah, demand tribute, demand tribute. So they will just kind of leave the map one by one. Um, and then once they have all left, then they will be on their mission. And then they will return once they are done. And we'll see what happened. You and you are just not cooperating. Uh, but we can we can trade. Say the finished good bins are good. I have so many. Yeah, train in. Train straight giant Kia. Okay. 
Uh, so from the humans, I do want to keep asking for two kinds of rocks in particular. Where's my, where's stones? Stone. And I want coal and lignite. And then you can keep bringing instruments, I guess. Which are in here somewhere. You never have too many instruments, I guess. Okay, so and then are you are you good? You're just you're just free to go now. Well. Cool. Now do you wanna cooperate now? The door is open. The other door is open. Whatever. Okay, um, sure. I wonder if we could get the other one to move. Interrupted by a goblin thief. Yeah, I guess we had a goblin in here. We need to place our amulet, too. Momas has mandated construction of a figurine. Okay, fine. Um, all that got done. So let's open this. You, you're a bit more prompt about it, aren't you? Hey, look, another one. Hawk! The forgotten beast Hawk has come. A great three-eyed scorpion. It has two long straight tails and it is slavering. Orange exoskeleton as waxy. Poisonous sting. Neat. Okay, you're out. Now go back in. Oh gosh. You're gonna do this again? Really? What drone are you, Nagak? Mom is re-elected. Cool. Why are you this way? Close this again. Oh my. I'm just shuffling my beasts here. I want the chalk. Oh, now where are you going? That didn't. Okay. Now go in here. Uh, almost. Just go in here. It's nice and shiny for you. It's all smooth. There's hardly any goblin corpse in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now you're there. And now I can open this one. And probably trade. Yep. Hey, look, some gems. I don't care about gems. You care about lignite. Yeah, very nice. And logs, I guess. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna trade these jugs 
and the worn stuff. Right? But the only thing I'm not, the only thing I'm looking for, I guess, is clothing that hasn't been worn. Like these, we keep those. An exceptional large llama wool vest that hasn't been touched it stays with us. The rest of this, though. And these. And the crutch, we keep the crutch. On the quivers. Oh, there's all of our quivers. That can go. Oh, wow, this one's perfect. Cool. Uh, so then we could grab some of these instruments. A lead cage, okay. Bronze bucklers, gauntlets, seeds, figurines. Oh yeah, let's import figurines. Meat, fish. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, we are way over trading, but I don't care. No trader needed. Um, and our, our artifact. Let's do that. Here. What was it? It was a. Is it a mica? Come on. Orthoclase amulet. There you are. Cool. That's done. Good enough, made off with. Tw we had two children get kidnapped. Okay, so don't don't leave this door open. <laughs> oh my. Oh, and we're harvesting. It's harvest season again. It's early summer. Very nice. Very nice. Human scholar Bathru has discovered the theory that the world moves around the sun. He's been pondering the heliocentric model for ages, and he's just now figured it out. And you put on a hat? You have a hat now? Ponder lunar and solar years. Wow. Bathru. Bathru has advanced science in our world. I've been discussing embryological development. It makes me very anxious. I'll think about the stars. Thank you. Oh, we should put some more water in our waterfalls. Oh, which is done here. So in theory, are they all have they all made it out? Oh, there's still one. One person hasn't made it out yet. Ushrir, why aren't you wearing your stuff? Can I go to you? Where are you? Ushrir Dura something. Hammerlord. Sleeping. 
Wake up, it's time to attack the goblins. Legendary Hammerdorf, though, I definitely want you to go. Doesn't feel anything after sleeping without a proper room. I mean, you have a barracks. Does that not count? Do you have... Are you missing anything? You got steel stuff. You got your breastplate. You got your mail shirt. You got your shield. You got a warhammer. You got two gloves. One for each hand. You got your backpack. I wonder... I mean, is she just gonna go as soon as she wakes up? Yeah, there we go. You're the only one who hasn't left yet. a lot less time to get their stuff in order for, than when we tried to send people out from our last fortress. There were some people who took forever to get out. Of course, our fortress being smaller helps that too. It's just a, lo a shorter trip to leave. But, you know. There we go. Now they are on the world map. And we won't know what they're up to until they get back. Elder Guild. Mm -hmm. Neat. And these stupid honey brains, how do we fix that? don't want them to be having to put <laughs> every single honeybee corpse in the corpse stockpile. That is the definition of a waste of time. And they've already returned. Uh, oh, so that's that's been done. That's fine. Uh, needs... Yeah, okay, so brewing stuff. We'll make sure that's still working. Yeah, the inky tightnesses has returned. Yeah, here they come. They're already back. So we should look at our reports. Mission report. Demand tribute from bad faith. So they left and they came back. Hooray. In the early summer of 146, the dip ceiling attacked the dungeon of splattering of the crested flies at bad faith. The dwarf Rith Dorians led the attack and the defenders were led by the goblin Strondo doom doom dented doom dented uh, the dwarf rith's tactical planning oh my goodness my I... okay uh here, pause pause apparently this was per uh an eventful thing uh rear seedlings led by dwarf clashed with eight goblins slaying them nice uh, in the early summer of 146, Dwarf Domas attacked the goblin Dillal. And then Dillal was struck down. Okay, cool. Rith confronted Asno. And then Asno... Or no, the goblin... Goblin's left foot was ripped by the dwarf. Okay, cool. Uh, the gorp Asno's right arm was ripped. Okay. Uh... And then was struck down. Okay. Dwarf Logums attacked Stasat and then was struck down. This is all good stuff. We killed some goblins. Goblin Zulsa was smashed. Goblin was struck down. Dwarf attacked Strondo. Strondo's arm was smashed. Strondo's Right back tooth was smashed. <laughs> and then Strondo was struck down. Cool. So we killed a bunch of goblins. Uh, but did we get any 
Did we get any tribute? I don't know that we actually got any tribute from this. I don't even know what tribute would look like. Mostly we just killed some goblins. But I'm okay with that. Because I don't think... We didn't lose anyone, right? I mean, you're all... We're still waiting for them to come back. You doing... Falling, uh... Bringing me any tribute? No. But on the plus side, uh, we attacked a bunch of goblins and we survived. Now our... Now in theory some of these have some kills. Yeah, one goblin in bad faith. Strondo the goblin. That was a notable kill even. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, they're just going to come back. And I'm going to send them right back out again. <laughs> they're going to go back to bad faith. Like, immediately. Inky tightnesses and others. Okay. Canceled brew drink from plant needs. See, they are brewing. There has mandated hooray figurines, whatever. Um, oh, did we make platinum statues? We made some platinum statu statues. Cool. So we should place. The ones that we engraved, or I guess we should smooth, <laughs> we should smooth and engrave these alcoves. Um, I'm also going to remove the make statue job, make clay statue. So we can just make them manually if we want more. And that is fine now. Yeah, look at all this. Def. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that dump, and I'm gonna remake our dump in our actual dump spot on top of our incinerator. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if this is still... <laughs> it's just filled with honeybees. It's just dead honeybees. Just assume that it's working. <laughs> so all of these clothes just oh my goodness. And all this stuff to melt. All this stuff to melt. Cow. Holy cow. And we're still smelting gold even. Okay. We all back? You all back? Okay, good. Now. <laughs> Bad faith. We are going to openly attack and destroy, or conquer and occupy, or demand surrender and occupy. Let's try that. Your soldiers will join the occupation and not return. Your holdings will be manageable from the screen. So my understanding is that they will stay there, but then we can request that they come back. Maybe... Let's try this. Let's try this first. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, go. Go forth. Yeah, raise bad faith. Cool. Good luck. But we have a handful of platinum statues here. Very nice. So these are linked. They're taking from everything. Finished goods for the barrels, but also... Oh, finished goods for, like, the mead. 
Because the honey comes from there, of course. Um, I'm going to break, break their link to the paper crops. So we can save the paper crops for paper. We still have plenty here. Um, that's not what I meant to do. I want the stockpile. Yeah, whip line. Contributed more shinies. Excellent. More shinies. Um, oh, Hydra. Yeah, for sure. why our drinks aren't going that high. I told them to go until 2000. We've been hanging out at 14, 1500 for a bit. Maybe we need more stills? I thought we have a whole lot of room here. Does the tanner need to be here? I mean, the tanner could be elsewhere. I mean, this is this is the most convenient spot for it, though. Oh, we don't need a fishery. We have not been fishing. <laughs> let's let's get rid of the fishery, and I'll just make make another still. Goodness, look at our look at all of our stuff. And then I'm gonna even make all of our closest materials are gonna be things I don't want to make it out of. And rock salt, that's fine. So we'll have four farmer's workshops that are working on spinning thread. We'll have four looms. We'll have four clothers and we'll have four dyers. Yay! Um, and how's... Yeah, they're all headed out. Look at that. Okay. Who needs unrotten fermentable, right? Like, why? Why? We still we already grabbed a bunch of stuff from the surface. All those all those but uh berries, that's the word I'm looking for. Dujan, human pilgrim. You look like bathroom. <laughs> um I'm gonna give an order to dump these silly honeybee remains. I also want to uh, come back here and we can smooth out these other two. Is this the one I said to do? Yes. We still have it open here. Yes. Okay. So now our doors can get in here and grab the goodies and smooth it while you're in there. Look 
because why not? The Minotaur? We haven't seen a Minotaur, at least in not a while. Baru Nagulatan Boslu Tolng. A giant humanoid monster with the head of a bull. So you're on the surface, aren't you? That's neat. Uh, do we still have your, 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 your leave-in? So I hope you don't get caught out there. Uh, let's put our, our crossbow dwarves on the wall. Um, and maybe we'll even close this door. <laughs> Just to make sure no one gets... Uh, it's stuck out there. It's gonna... Oh, this poor... This poor human. Dujan uh, is ready to leave, and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Dujan got away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I give a kill order here? Who are you, a miller? You're a skilled Hammerdorf, but even then, 1v1 against a Minotaur, I don't know. Even with some crossbow backup, this is a... that's a fight. That's an uphill fight. Ew, whose teeth are these? Stodiers? Stodier just got... Stodier just got their teeth kicked out. Uh... Check out the combat. Hammerdorf is fighting. Minotaur punches. Hack is deflected by Greaves. Hammerdorf misses. Uh, Minotaur releases grip on the Minotaur's left lower arm. Oh, weird. The dwarf grabbed, but then the, the Minotaur, like, forced open the grip. Charges, collides, knocks over. Oh, boy. Okay. How are you? Overexerted and winded. Cannot breathe. Cannot stand. Uh, where's my... Where's my friends? Come on. You are tired? Ability to grasp somewhat impaired. No, I told you to kill. Did the kill not work? Confirm. No, no. We lost one. Oh, you... Okay, but you got hit by those... You did not like those traps. See? The weapon traps. Very, very nice. Here's our legendary armorsmith. Why are you here? Why are you out here? No. No! I... Uh, I mean, at least the Minotaur's unconscious. Where's our... Where's our friends? You can I give you a kill order? Uh, if you kill the legendary armorsmith, oh, oh boy, Errol! Wow! 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 Okay. Um, crisis mostly averted. did lose one uh but on the plus side we <laughs> you you died on our turf so we get to keep your gear um and they're all gone we're still waiting on shore ass is that you no where's shore ass Get provisions. Okay. You're working on it. Oh, we have merchants that we're not trading with? Or did we trade with you? Here's the humans. We traded with the humans, right? Because the dwarves are in fall. 
we traded with them. Um, oh, and then we should open this. Okay, um, well, while they deal with that, I am going to go grab some more water. I will be right back. Interrupted by Minotaur. We haven't seen a Minotaur. I don't think. Okay, I will be right back. Uh, do, ba, do, ba, do, do. Uh, where's my buttons? Oh, is it not gonna... Why not? Did I restart my computer and not restart all my junk? There we go. Okay. I have returned. Moma's made a demand, of course. So waiting for one person to get out of here. Uh, what do you want? You want more figurines? Whatever. Okay. What were we doing before the Minotaur showed up? Don't even recall. Oh, the honeybees. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have this set to not take honeybees. I don't... If they are storing individual honeybee teeth, then I'm gonna have words with somebody. What are you hauling? You're hauling the Minotaur corpse. Perfect. And then it goes into there. Cool. And then in theory, it's probably getting close, so it's only a quarter full. Neat. Someone should grab that corpse. Is that you? No. <laughs> it is spattered with Stodier's blood. And it's spattered with Stodier's blood. Oh my gosh. And water. We have burial places. There's Shorast, right? Yeah, okay, so there's our last person leaving. You're kind of slow. Slow to heal, clumsy, very, very weak, and very flimsy. Okay, good luck with the goblins. We have places to bury people. When that all happened. Good. 
good, good, good. Is there... We run out of room for chalk already. Excellent. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of the wool overflow. Just turn this into more of that. Except... Do you have wheelbarrows? Supposedly. Uh, okay, and then I'll make some more looms. Okay, so we have statues, we smoothed those. Let's engrave. Um, and then let's encrust the rest of these. We just have room for more shops now. What do we <laughs> what do we even need? Giant Kia has reverted. Yeah, that's just gonna keep happening. But it's in a cage at least. Uh, oh, and they've returned already. Excellent. Um, I'm curious if any of them are pets. No, that's if they revert, they're probably unavailable again. That's skillfully trained. Okay. No one's no one's taking us up <laughs> on. Adopting a... Adopting a Kia. Oh, let's... Giant Kia, general familiarity. Cool. And then our mission. Report. Raise bad faith. Dip ceiling attach the dungeon of the splattering of the crested flies at bad faith. Rith led the attack. Defenders were led by the goblin Kel. Uh, the dwarf attacked the goblin. Goblin Spug was struck down. Dwarf Vukar attacked the goblin Kel. And then Kel was struck down. Goblin Rith. Or Dwarf Rith attacked the goblin Uz Uzma. And goblin was struck down. Hatton attacked Ewi, and the goblin was struck down. Uh, inky tightnesses led by the dwarf clashed with six goblins, slaying them. Forces of the faithful ore searched bad faith and found nothing. Uh, Midsummer of 146, forces of ore rampaged throughout bad faith. Wow. So did we just destroy bad faith? It's still here, but there's only like 10 left. Cool. So what if we go raise and openly destroy two months of dwarfing around? Nice. Oh, hi. Oh, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very nice. Oh, with Prime even. Very, very nice. Um, yes. So what do we do with bad faith? It we, we successfully raised it, but it didn't get destroyed. I find that interesting. I mean, we could just raise it again. Raise and openly attack. Uh, oh, the rear ceilings is not back yet? Yeah, okay. So you're... We're still waiting for them to return. That's fine. We also need to, uh... 
replace someone who wants to be a hammer dwarf. No one is a hammer dwarf, of course. Using it before I cancel my trial, Bezos can use his money for good. <laughs> um, beekeeper, animal caretaker, fish dissector. You, you can be a hammer dwarf. Perfect. So that's that's some less goblins in the world. Uh, easy as that. Whatever. Okay. Um, and then in theory, they grab the chalk. Yeah, perfect. Someone come over that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. No one, no one cares about that glove. Okay, got it. Oh, we can't get over there yet. Okay. Um, so then I can... What do I want to do? I want to move these two down. If I can. So you... I want to do this. Is that right? Oh no, someone's gonna come down to that's fine. So let's let's Don't do that yet. Not while I'm moving beasts around. Now let's open this one. in the discord excellent 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 well become welcome welcome um yeah i'm gonna open i'm gonna open this and try to get you to come out this way no you don't care is this still open yeah They're so picky about which way they go out. Maybe I should say, uh, pickle. <laughs> cute ghost I hear. Excellent. I like cute ghosts. Just don't pull any levers. We're losing our frames too, aren't we? So nice of you to say I'm cute spontaneously and for no reason. <laughs> yeah, where's our where's our frames going? I got no birds out here. Discord does have levers. I was talking to you, but I was being figurative, because the ghosts in this game like to do awful things. We've definitely had 
a couple of deaths due to ghosts opening doors that should have remained locked. You just went right back in. I mean, I guess I... Ugh. Fine. If you were that close to doing it, then I'm just gonna open this again. To be honest, it does sound like something I would do, but for forgetful reasons and not malicious ones. That's fair. What does this button do? Okay. Okay, okay. And there we go. Perfect. That's where you need to be. Good. And then same... Deal. I want to move this one down here. Lock you. Unlock this one. And lower this. All right, because then you're going to come out like that. What do you think of that, Esnest? Nothing? You good? <laughs> Ugh. Why? They're so... They're so picky. Nothing. Nothing. Do you want do you want in this one instead? Not that I want you to be in there. Weird, weird, weird. I mean, we can do it the other way around. Let's pull, pull you. Then I want you to come this way. Send them out again. Bad faith. Openly attack and destroy. Yeah. Cool. Now they're now they're gonna go again. I want a gun. I want to destroy bad faith. Okay, so now I want you to come out this way. What do you think of that? Now you understand that one better. No? Almost. Don't say hi to your friend. Come on. Why are you this way? I mean, if I... Do you want in through the other door? See, they don't even... They're too focused. Too laser focused on each other. Oh, 
Come on. For real? You just unlock this door and they'd fight. Now that that's what I'm looking for. something hmm well now it's just not in a cage now what do I do and what's going on is there what's going on we were doing so fine I'm not seeing any combat reports from our caves or anything. There's our our spider. Yeah, weird. I am late to the party that anyone died. Um We did lose a soldier to a Minotaur. And is that all that's happened? I think it's the only one we've lost. I'm re I'm shuffling my beasts. <laughs> I realize that the we actually want the stone that's in here. I'm like trying to move them in and out, but now they're just like now they're just hanging out. Are those forgotten beasts just wandering around? Uh, these three are trapped, but this one is is currently out. And this one's trapped too. But I want this one to go back in here. But it's just like captivated with the door here. Oh, that. Okay. What is that? Why are you so weird? Having a conversation? I know, right? Touching their tentacles against the door on the other side. There we go. Okay, so now it's where I want it to be. Cool. So now, now we'll lower this one again. And then we can come into these two cells to grab all the chalk. And goblin corpses for that matter. And we can smooth while we're in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, no, don't care about that. Cool. Okay, so they'll they'll get to work on that. Um, all our soldiers are are raiding bad faith. Uh, got three more who still need to get their stuff sorted and go out. I did just, I did conscript a new soldier and they're going out immediately. Uh, so that's cool. Maybe we should have like a, should we have another squad that we have as like our backup? People who can just be training and then they can fill in the spots as needed. I think that would probably be smart. We have spots for another squad. Oh, here, I emptied out this spot. Let's do that. Let's make another squad. I'll do one. No, I don't. No. There's one, two, three, four, five. There 
you. And then this will be a barracks. And then we create a new squad. Oh, and this could be even our, our captain of the guard. Yeah, okay. So we'll have a guard squad. And they will be just sitting here training so that they can fill in people who die in the other squads as they go out raiding. I think that makes sense. And we'll give them just the basic stuff so that they don't hog all the steel. Um, but then, yeah, we will toss a couple people in here. Cheesemaker. Uh, sure, sure. A beekeeper. Armor. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, who else? <laughs> A dire furnace operator? That's... Well, no, we are... Well, no, you're fine. That's fine. That's fine. What a planter. A leather worker? Yeah. Cheese maker? A hunter why not okay so now now we have a guard squad technically the enjoyable pages cool um so that so they're all going to be given uniforms that don't designate too much like it doesn't designate steel they're going to end up with some steel probably uh but they don't have weapons in here so i'm going to tell them some of them are going to be hammers. Like three of each thing. Oh, that was wrong. Here, battle axe. Battle axe. Battle axe. And then you get a spear. You get a spear. You get a spear. And you will get a hammer just to round it out. Thanks. Army Fortress Guard one week in the month, two weeks a year. <laughs> yep. Basically. Um Speaking of their schedule, I'm just going to take their schedule from our other training squad and we're just going to paste it. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And then where are we at? Did they all... Did they all come back already? They have returned. Wow. They are so fast. And now it's gone. Yeah. The dark pits of bad faith. No civilized population. We have destroyed a goblin site already. Excellent. Excellent. Raise bad faith. We have destroyed bad faith. There is no more bad faith. Horses searched bad faith and found nothing. Rampaged. The Dungeon of Splattering fled Bad Faith. Okay, yeah. We have destroyed Bad Faith. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. So now we can just pick a new one. Cool. So now what do we got? We have Horror Dwelling with 75. Stole nearly. Thin Grieved. Wound Ticks. Neat. Any of these, like, exceptionally big or small? 40's not big. Vice Menace. 100, 60, 100, 20? Geared Dooms. 
the Abyssal Evil of Confinement. Let's just uh, annihilate a small one. How about that? Raise. Yeah. Um, and we can we can remove those because they're done. And then now they'll go out and destroy that one. Neat. I mean, so long as we can knock those down faster than they can repopulate them, we will eventually have fewer goblins. Uh, needs improvable furniture. Okay, so we we encrusted our furniture. Look at all that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna close all this off again. I'm not gonna bother with that last one. Um and we'll we'll raise all of these again. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Uh, this one too. That one for good measure. then when we whatever we got pretty close I do want more goblins to attack us I don't know if attacking on the world map like provokes them or discourages them or what I'm kind of hoping they'll be like oh we gotta go attack them in a big a big siege And then you're all gone, and there's four left in this squad. One of them's sleeping, I can see it. Did that corpse ever get moved? It did. Seems okay. And then there's still more honeybee remains in here. How the heck? So weird. Uh, and then why is... Like, they're also not showing up. They're not getting into... The garbage. I uh, know. Which is this. They're allowed to put... Bees in there. Weird. Very weird. This one bucket has been here for a very long time. And I don't know why. Like, actual decades. Now we're, we're gathering. We are gathering plants. Excellent. Okay, yeah, now we're like 1500 for booze. Alrighty. Yeah, cool. So. Now we did our we did our statues. We were taken by Feymood. Um oh I didn't 
link you. Should I? I feel like I should. You can take from here and from here and here. Oh, now we're saving. Goblins? Autumn goblins? Ob Oblins? Atoblins? This one was in here. That's dimple die or dimple cups. Okay, so I think that's all we needed to link them to. Yeah. Okay. Middle you know, our bar stock pile. Oh my god. Holy cow. Well, at least we have coke. Wow. Oh, we can do gold stuff now. Oh, and look at all these. Cool. And then we should have these alcoves made now. Let's go ahead and place those. Uh, just the decorated ones. Or no. Now I want to designate... I guess we can just place the, the platinum ones first. Pretty sure... That is a lot of coke. Are dwarves known for their eight ball parties? Yes. <laughs> uh, statue. And then I'm going to just choose these individually. I'm looking for the platinum ones. Platinum statue of a cat. Platinum statue of that person. Platinum statue of Mincott. statue of Mark Rist. Cool. And then the rest can go down here. And that should still be the same filters. Look how much engraving we have done. My god. I never thought this would be done. Very nice. Very, very nice. There's still a bunch of bedrooms down here, probably. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Everyone's getting a nice engraved bedroom. Cool. I'm even just gonna designate, because we're eventually just want to engrave all of this, right? We have to go to my stupid work meeting. Hopefully I'll be back before end of stream. See you all next stream. Okay, sounds good. I'll only be streaming for about half an hour or so, uh, but no worries if you don't make it back. I will I will be here. Is that one tile not smoothed? Beep, 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 beep. Okay, uh, and then we. Uh, what did we? What did we melt? We melted someone's masterwork object. Oh well. I wonder what that would have been. Um, and then you are you're doing something. Works furiously. Oh my goodness. Did we? We've used our wool. Oh my god, I never thought we would get through all of that wool. So now, we can, we can uh, go up to our farm here. Now you, what are you set up to do? You shear as long as we have less than a thousand claw. 
which will not be true for a very long time. What are we at? Somewhere between a thousand and two thousand. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, a thousand cloth is quite a bit. I mean, let's just let's do two thousand. Why not? So then that will reactivate the shear animal job. Yeah. So they're just gonna re. They'll just shear some stuff, and then they will keep on top of turning that wool into cloth. Forever, in theory. I'm curious, what does our cloth stock, stock look like? Cloth! My god. Oh my god. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of bee silk cloth. We have almost a thousand llama wool cloth on its own. And we have a whole bunch of silk. Yeah, so yeah, we have cloth. That works. Weaver has created Ibuz Aztesh, a llama wool chas chas. Uh, he claims it as an heirloom. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Like, should I? Do you put the heirlooms in the in the museum? I guess why not. Uh, what is it? Llama wool. It's a sheer llama wool, okay. That's the right one. No, that's a different one. That's a different artifact. So then where was it? That was just taken from someone else. That one. Okay, whatever. Put the new one here. Why can't I find it? Unless I'm not allowed to because it's an heirloom? No, no, there it is. Okay. Okay, so they're all still, still waiting on Shorast. Okay. That's fair. And in theory, we have this squad. They have equipment of some kind. Oh, and we need to designate them that they can train here. That's right. And actually use their... Okay, uh, they could train there. And they s sleep and stuff here. Perfect. Okay, so... I've done basically what I intended to do. Um, yeah, I mean, look, this is face earths. This is what we've done. This is, this is, this is what we've accomplished. And I think we've accomplished quite a lot. Uh, and there you can see all the trees and stuff. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah. Let's talk about this fortress a bit. Um, because again, my plan is... Like, I'm not giving up on Dwarf Fortress by any means, but we will be pausing our Dwarf Fortress, uh... endeavors, and... Uh, so that I can focus on a different game for for a moment. Um, but in the meantime, I want to turn this into a succession fortress. I want to turn this fortress over to you, the viewers, so that you can take turns and do your wild stuff in here and, and make your mark on this fortress. And then the idea is that I would come back to it. And then we'd have like an episode where I go through all of your all of your records. You know, you'd write something up and, and say that here's what happened for the time that I was taking care of the fortress. And uh, and then I would like recount all of the tales on stream. Uh, and then I would resume with the fortress and then and then we would go from there. We would see what happens. Um, maybe this fortress turns into uh, something completely different. Maybe it gets destroyed. Maybe all of the forgotten beasts get loose and we have to reclaim it. I don't know. Who knows what happens? But at any rate, I figure it's a good idea to kind of give just a, a top to bottom rundown of everything that's going on in this fortress because it is quite intricate at this point. Uh, and you can... And you can take it from here. Is the idea that it stays with one timeline, so pass it between, correct? So we would come up with a list and we'd have an order. And then uh, typically uh, you do like a year at a time. But we can do whatever we want. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll run this until we get to the end of end of winter so that we can uh, like end it at a year. And then someone someone takes it from there. But then, you, then we would say someone takes it for a year and then... They pass it along, and everyone gets like a turn with it. And then it would come back to me when I'm when I come back to Dwarf Fortress, and and I would resume from there. So we would have one timeline that goes through the whole string, uh, through that whole time, and everyone's contribution becomes part of the fortress and part of the world, uh, because that's what I think is cool. Your your actions persisting in whatever small way they can. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the thought, um, that's the idea. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should join the Discord. I'm going to run the whole thing through the Discord, um, kind of a first come first serve thing since it will be passed along. Um, only one person will be playing at a time, obviously. So, uh, it's going to be kind of first person, first come first serve, um, you get the save, you play for a year, you put it back up in the Discord, next person gets it, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, if that, some, if that sounds like something that would be fun, if you want to play this fortress for a bit, join the Discord and, and get on the list. Um, but, as you can see, we have, we have a tiny fortress here. We have a one by one embark. This is the smallest possible space that you can embark onto. Um, and it's flat. It's perfectly flat. We didn't do any terraforming here. We have a little brook here that freezes for, like, seriously three quarters of the year. Like, it thaws early summer and freezes late summer. It's ridiculous. Um, we have a whole bunch of trees. We have a nice wall. We built all the stuff on the surface out of jet. And we've used all of our jet. There's, like, no jet left at all. Uh, so it worked out quite nicely. But our defensive structure on the surface has been working very, very well. We have a big square wall, we have a ledge that's going around, and then we have a, uh, a patrol route, which you can see... Uh, oh, hey, the, el the, the, the dwarves are here. Hooray. Uh, Vutok here is patrolling around, and we just have one person patrolling the, the wall at all times. We also have a person stationed down here in our actual little gatehouse at all times. Um, and that's been very good at spotting thieves and stuff. Though we did just have some... Like, we had two children kidnapped earlier this stream. That was weird. Some thieves got in. Oh, but we got in because we I had this door open. We'll talk about that door. Um, those are the beast ways. Um, but yeah, so... When the goblins show up, they show up on the edge of the map. And then chances are you'll have... Your patroller will be like, 
right nearby. And then all of the thieves. Oh, hey, look, our soldiers. Soldiers are returning. Excellent. Um, so like all the thieves and snatchers get revealed like as soon as they get on the map because of the people on the wall here. It's been very good. Um, you can see there's some weapon traps and cage traps in here because uh, some things have liked to climb the wall and they like to get in through these doors. But these weapon traps are very good. Uh, these are bronze, axe blade, and spike uh, traps. And they all have masterwork mechanisms in there. They've been working very nicely. Very happy. We also have some ballistas down here pointing into our our gatehouse thing, uh, which I haven't been using much, but you know, do what you want. Um, and then the idea was like, there's these these single tile bridges going all, all along the sides. The idea was that we would be able to bring caravans in, and then this would be the caravan entrance. And then these bridges would raise up and kind of act as little choke points so that the, you know, any goblins that are in here are just restricted to the one tile, and then you shoot them with the ballista. Um, but, like, it's unnecessary. <laughs> We've had goblin sieges that get completely annihilated by our dwarves on the, the wall before they even get inside. So, like, trapping them in here and getting dwarves on the, the ballistas, like, it's not, it's not worth it. It's more of a pain than, than it's worth, so... I haven't been doing that. Um, other things to note here, this is our, our trader entrance. Um, you can see it's just a big ramp that goes down. I actually have it closed right now even. We haven't been getting caravans. Um, and I think it's because our Baroness died before we were elevated to the point where we can get caravans. I'm not actually sure what's going on there, uh, but we don't get caravans here. So uh, I've just been leaving this door closed and the traders can uh, come and go through the main entrance, which is this. Um, we're, yeah, so they're, yeah, you're, you're good. You're returning the rare ceilings. Cool. Um, should I trade? I should probably trade. Uh, broker requested, move goods. So I've been trading uh, all of these finished good bins. Just have them come over. Finished goods. We have so many finished goods. We have so much. You will never run out of stuff. Um, and we are importing. Uh, the important thing that we're importing right now is lignite and bituminous coal. Um, I've also been asking for, like, instruments and wood and stuff, uh, but we're, like, good on those for now. Um, but we, we've we mined out the bulk of our, our coal stone from the ground here, uh, so if we want to keep steel production going forward, we're going to have to import some, some coal, I think. So keep, keep an eye out for that. Um, and then, what else about the surface here? Oh, we should check out our, 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 our log. We have a raise gear to dooms. We went all the way down there. Dip ceiling attacked the abysmal evil of confinement of the crested flies at gear to dooms. Neat. Uh, dwarf Kulet attacked the goblin. Goblin was struck down. Dumet confronted the goblin rear. Goblin rear was struck down. Nice. Okay. Inky tightnesses, inspiringly led by the dwarf Rith, clashed with the single goblin in geared doom, slaying them. Uh, forces of faithful ore searched and rampaged. Okay. But we didn't destroy. I can't help but notice. Unless we did. Yeah, no, it's still there. There's just less than 10 people there now. Uh, so how about... How about you just go actually destroy it? Uh... No, not you. You! Yeah. So we'll, we'll just keep that cycle going. Or you just... You're immediately going back out. Perfect. Perfect. No one died, right? You're... You're all here. You're all here. You are naked, but okay, sure. 
You do you. Um, but as far as our defenses go, the main thing to know is that I've gotten a little fancy with it. Um, we have we have some weapon traps here and some cage traps here, and that's all well and good. Uh, so goblins come in through here and they snake around, and they come in through here, and then we'll have um, any type of goblins attack. I just tell our crossbow squad, crossbow squad, which is the ochre fogs. I'll just tell them to patrol the wall patrol route, um, and that'll put. And there's only five of them, uh, but they'll they'll come out here and they'll walk around and they'll patrol. And then whenever the goblins show up and they're down here winding through, the the crossbow doors will just be up here and kind of shooting down at them, and that works out great. Um, and then I, I tell the melee squad to just station in the middle of the courtyard. So anything that gets through, like they, they have to go through all the defenses and then they also have to go down through here. Um, and there's even a couple more uh, weapon traps and cage traps here that have like never been tested because nothing ever gets that far. Uh, but I'll, I'll station the melee dwarves out here. So anything that actually manages to get through has to actually just fight dwarves. And that's been a very good last line of defense. Um, but the fancy things that we've been doing are all down here. Um, so what I typically do is I raise this bridge, which forces goblins to come in and down. And then they have these little side paths uh, that go to various things. Like the blender. This one works very well. I recently upgraded it with some bronze mining carts because the wooden ones have been uh, breaking a little bit when they smack goblins in the heads. But this is very simple. Um, if you want goblins to go in here, you will just you open that door. And then the power is linked to this mechanism. So you can just go here and you, you turn on that mechanism. And then all these mine carts just go wee and they go around in circles. And you make the dwarves thug shake perchance. <laughs> Please advise. Uh, not that I know of. Um, anyway. Uh, so there, there's the goblin blender. It's been been very good. Uh, but if you if the goblins manage to get through, they just go up this little path and they end up back here and they end up just back in the courtyard. So anything that leaks uh, just ends up in the courtyard. Um, the other the other trap that is working. Um, so you'll notice that there's there's a path that goes here into our our beast storage. Ignore these. This doesn't work very well. Um, it, this is not up to my standards as far as like an actual goblin trap goes, so right now it's just beast storage. This one, however, works. Um, and this is the fancy one. This is one we just finished just recently. So goblins would come down here, and then you have one or the other side open. Theoret in, in ideally, ideally you have a, uh, a beast trapped in one side and the other side is open. Goblins come in. They kind of filter through, they press this button as they come in, and that will raise both of these bridges, and it will keep it raised until you manually open them again. And then you can take this bridge, go to the go to that lever, and you open it, they fight, and then you raise it again, and then the beast is on a side, whichever side, doesn't matter, and then you just open the other the other bridges. Um, and that's all there is to it. Um, these bridges are controlled by uh, by latches, which are fancy and are here. Um, but the main thing to know is that the the actual reset mechanism is these two. Um, there's one latch for each half of of this trap. So if you want to, um, like all these bridges are are down right now because that's the way it started. Because of course, um, but if you have a bridge up and you want it to be down. You just turn on the mechanism, it resets the latch, and then you turn it back off again to turn off the pumps, and then it will just be set and waiting for goblins. And that's all there is to it. There's also this trap, which is um, not very good. <laughs> this is a minecart shotgun. You can see up here we have a minecart that is filled with menacing copper spikes. And the idea was that you would... Uh, even it's it's activated by pressure plate so a goblin would come in here and that activates the rollers on this pressure plate 
and it shoots down the minecart and then all the spikes come shooting through and they just pepper the goblins uh, but it doesn't work very well um, if, if you want to like iterate on that and well you're welcome to it um, oh and we should trade all jokes aside, can I ask a question? How do you feel about streaming a non-mainstream game on the lower viewership that may come as a result? What do you want to get from streaming personally? Thank you. Um, well, I mean, streaming not high viewership games is all I've done so far. Not necessarily on purpose. I'm streaming Dwarf Fortress because I love Dwarf Fortress. Um, and that's the, that's the main thing. Um, however, you you join you come to us at an auspicious time um because this is going to be my last war fortress stream for a little bit and then on thursday a game a much more uh theoretically higher viewership game will be coming out that i will be playing that i will be playing uh so yeah armored core 6 comes out on thursday so excited i am so hyped for it um, because I was playing, like we were playing Sekiro a little while ago. I uh, beat Sekiro for the first time uh, maybe two months ago or so. Uh, and before that I was playing Elden Ring and doing, I was doing randomized speed runs of Elden Ring. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, later this week I will in theory, fingers crossed, <laughs> be streaming a, a more... Uh, widely viewed game and hopefully some people come by and and we get some new faces in here um but i i mean i'm mostly streaming it because that's what i want the stream and yeah uh this can all go that can all go very lightly worn wool vest sure whatever not those people people should be wearing those Worn stuff is good. Okay, not the shoes. All the large stuff that Bathroom made is all showing up here. Large. Ow. Look at all of these clothes. Uh, oh my god, goodness, you were all talking. Okay, let me finish this real quick. Here's our coal, lignite. Very good. Not a lot, so you're gonna have to be diligent about trading it, like, consistently. But of course, if you get desperate, you could turn wood into charcoal. And then the wood can be turned into to, to fuel in that same way. Right? Pretty sure. Um, but then otherwise, a silver stepladder. Ooh, the wizard's guide to breathing. The secret of surveying. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's trade that. No trader needed. Um, I know you're not asking me, but as a streamer, I would say 100% do what you enjoy and build a community. Yeah, totally. Uh, people can tell if you aren't digging it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, also, there's something to growing within a niche as a growth method rather than getting totally lost in a game. Yeah. Um, like, I personally, I chose not to stream Baldur's Gate when it came out at, uh, earlier this month. Just because I know that, like, I don't have the kind of pull that's gonna get people to pick me for a game like that, right? Um, there's just gonna be 10,000 people streaming and 10,001 people watching and everyone's going to have their streamer that they want to go to and none of those are going to be me so yeah so i so i chose not to stream baldur's gate even though like i'm playing baldur's gate on my own but i'm not streaming it um because i i figured i just kind of get lost um quit streaming because i used to get like 60 viewers daily and was making money but i hated valorant and league yeah that's fair now I switched games, I lost a lot of viewership, rather disheartening in any case. Thank you for your answer. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if you're... Like, there's way more people than I get, so I'm kind of jealous. But also, like, if you hate the game, then don't play it. Um, yeah, like... Yeah, games like Valorant and League... Are cool. They're not for me, though. Um... 
Yeah, so my, my tactic has been to sit here and, and play the game that I want to play, and, and hopefully that attracts some people. Um, yeah, like a game with tons of streamers and viewers, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, like losing viewership because you go to a less popular game. I... I what do you do? <laughs> what what can you do? Um, do we ha are, is that, where's our squads? They're they're still working on it. They're all out. Shorast has been slow, clearly. Okay. No, uh, this is, that's all fine. Whatever. Change off football manager if I lose four to four fifths of my audience. Yeah, I believe it. And see, like a game like Football Manager, I would not have thought that a game like Football Manager would be a mainstream game, right? I would have I would have assumed that that would be something niche like this, where you got a dozen uh, a dozen viewers watching the game total, and you know some of them come by on, on you, but. Yeah, like it's yeah. I was watch like as a category. So because I've been watching, uh, because I've watched your stream, Twitch now assumes that I'm really interested in Football Manager. That's not like FIFA, which is bigger but still big. Interesting. Yeah. So like I didn't realize that the Football Manager category was so big. Like that's wild to me. People are people are really into watching the Football Manager. Um. <laughs> Which is is cool. I'm glad, um, but it's really hard to say what like what the popular games would be and what they are and what would be popular for you, right? Every game is gonna have a different fit for a different person. So yeah. Oh, it's snowing. Anyway, um. Oh, are you get you headed out? You're headed out. Perfect. Football Manager on Twitch was like DF a decade ago, but the game also grew massively over COVID. That's fair. Uh, so that helps as more people coming into the game means more people watching. And I was kind of expecting that to happen a bit as the Steam version came out. And this game definitely got a bump in, in popularity when the Steam version came out. But I, I was kind of hoping that it would it would take off a little bit more. Um, not that I really mind, but I was I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit more of a, a surge in popularity from from the viewership crowd, um, where whereas I think maybe it turned into a surge in players, which is also fine. Anyway, uh, to benefit from that, you might have had to have been there a year before for it. Maybe very true. Um. And I had streamed before that, and I'd even streamed Door Fortress before that, but I typically only streamed, um, like I would do the Extra Life Marathon. Uh, speaking of which, we'll be coming up here in a couple months here, so that'll be fun. Um, but I would only do it once a year for a marathon, so I didn't really have like a viewership that, that stuck with me. I had just done it a couple times. Um, so yeah, Fort Tour continuing. Um, that's the surface. Um, you can see we have a minecart here for garbage, and this is our, our refuse stockpile. It is being filled with honeybee remains for whatever reason. I don't know how to make it not just be all honeybees, but whatever. They're already back. They're already back. The lads are back. Report. Raise gear to dooms. I do think you benefit from being one of the only ones in your category. That's how I found you. Never, I would never ever have found you in a bigger game. It's true. It's true. But I mean, on the flip side, like how many people are looking through the small categories? How many people look for the small streamers? So there's there's less. There's fewer opportunities. The top guy now has like 34. Yeah. Is that, uh, is it blind? There's a couple streamers. There's like a couple big name streamers who like everyone watches. Top guy on FM has a thousand. What? What? Okay. Um. Anyway, so we rated...
We destroyed. Cool. We have destroyed a second site. Very, very good. RNG veteran or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, everything's RNG, right? It's all... All just noise. What do we want to raid next? There's also, like, these... The Lair of Evil Pit. Can we? We can. Explore Evil Pit. Interesting. Oh, but they're still returning. They, they, we're not quite... We're not quite ready to uh, reassign them yet. Um... Yes, so... Um... So that's kind of the defenses on the surface and and below. Um, you are welcome to iterate on those, build new ones. The main thing that I was doing was you, you raise this door and you force goblins to go down there and they do some traps down below and then they come back up through these hatches. So they don't actually gain any ground for getting through the trap. They just end up right back th here and, and have to fight the melee squad. Um, so you can build more traps if you want. You can make these traps better. You can do do whatever. Do whatever makes sense. Um, we also have a bunch of windmills that are supplying our power. We have 320 power. The main thing that we're powering on a continual basis is our waterfalls, which I'll show you. Um, and our millstones. There's a couple of other sometimes power draws. Um, but like, that's not a lot of power, right? For an entire fortress. Um, and I've chosen not to use our river. Our river is frozen so frequently that we can't really get reliable power off of it. So I haven't. Um, so I, I've been keeping our power supply kind of limited, um, but that's, that's what we have. And then what else do we got? Um, and then this, this is our beastways entrance, which you'll see below. It's everything kind of on the surface. Oh, and this road. The road is here so that the trees don't get too close. Um, if, if trees, if tree branches overhang the walls, then you can have goblins, like, climb up the trees and into your wall. So that's not so useful. Um, oh, and these used to be lakes. This was a lake, but now it is a our outdoor farm. This farm counts as outdoor for the purposes of, of what you can plant there, but it's sealed. It's perfectly safe. Um, and then we have our, our indoor farms, uh, where we're mostly doing dimple cups right now, but we've also started doing cave wheat and, and such. And then all of our honeybees, and then our pen. And then this is where we are, are uh, we're shearing animals from. And then, yeah, that's all pretty straightforward on this level. Now you are affiliate, are you rating other DF streamers that can help? That's true, I haven't been. There's a big raid culture in FM that helps build people. But I've never seen you get a DF raid or do one. Yeah. I've never... So I don't... I haven't been raiding people. But that's also because a lot of other streamers will have... Um, like, you can set a limit, right? Like, you can say your raid has to be so big before it works. And I never have that many people. I don't, at the end of the stream, I only have, like, two or three people. So if anyone sets a limit, it's going to be, like, ten at least. So, I have not successfully raided people. I have gotten a couple of raids, a, a very small handful of raids. Oh, they can set that up? Yeah. Yeah, it's in your in your Twitch settings. I think it, I mean, it makes a little bit of sense. Like, if uh, me raiding a, a channel with 100,000 viewers with my two viewers feels a little strange. But, um, but like raiding someone with 30 viewers seems fine. I don't mind a one-person raid. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but you're cool. Uh, this level is our, our goblin blender and the top of our minecart trap and some uh, some interconnections for our traps and whatnot. Um, so nothing too eventful here. Same thing here. Um, and then here's our here's our our beast trap. Um, this layer, this layer is important because that's where we're getting our chalk from currently. Um, all of our flux is going to be up in these upper zones. 
um, like here and up in here. Um, if you run out of flux, if you run out of uh, flux for steel, then here's your chalk. Uh, this is where you need to be mining it from. And then this level, this is kind of the first actual fortress level. Um, did we trade? I think we're good. Hey look, a forgotten beast. Eros Shadmalus, an enormous quadruped composed of coke. It's a coke beast. It's a coke fiend. <laughs> it has a short trunk, squirms and fidgets to beware its deadly spittle. It's a spitting coke fiend. Um, oh, and it's right here. It's gonna attack. It's gonna be fought by Issa, who is a, a towering hairy slug. Uh, the the coke beast is gonna win, I think, because it's made of rock. Brutal. Oh, it lost! Wow. Died. Holy cow. I'm surprised. Poke Golem? <laughs> yes. It's gone now. <laughs> um, oh, and we should... Uh, we can probably send our... Our friends out again. I am, I am curious about Evil Pit. I wonder if there's anyone here. Uh, so we're going to explore this... This vault? Tomb? Oh, well, get rid of that one. It's a layer. I'm curious. There's also, there's layers and there's vaults. What are vaults? Do they look the same? Yeah, uh, they'll, they'll get to it. Playing without hostile mobs was a mistake in my first fort. These forgotten beasts are so fun. Yeah, that's fair. They're also brutal if you can't deal with them, though. You wanna you wanna have some defenses, but they they take they ramp up. Um, you have to hit certain triggers before they actually start showing up. So you just have to make sure you you got your defenses going before you hit those triggers. Um, but yes, so here on this level we have our main entrance. This is like the this is the actual entrance to the fortress. Uh, comes down a ramp here. And then here's a little fortification so you can put your marks towards in here if you really wanted to. If things were coming in here, but nothing's ever made it this far. Um, and then this is like where this is towards like the actual down into the fortress. Um, this is our armory, armor, weapons, ammo, trap components. Um, and this stairwell goes down to the barracks area and then up to the actual gatehouse um, and then through here. So that's how they actually access the, the fortifications through the barracks area and not otherwise. Um, that's all that. This is our animal training area. We are training our Kias because I want to. Um, and this is everything else. Um, we haven't, we didn't ever actually use our fight pit here. If you want to set some dwarves against, uh, you know, some of the creatures that you have caught, you can use this, um, that they can just toss them down into here. Or you can just straight up pit them here, and this goes all the way down to, to here. Um, you can see we haven't even cleaned this out ever, uh, but this is just a, a platinum floor with upright spikes. Um, there's an intelligent undead wolf man who survived the fall, just still in there. Um, but yeah, you can you can deal with creatures that way, but they all end up in here. Um, here's our trade depot. Here's our backup reservoir uh, for the waterfalls. So this fills from the river and then drains into the waterfall system. Um, here you can see the, the trash mine cart coming from above. Here's where the power comes in. And then here's where we're powering our, our pump stack for the waterfall. And then, yeah, that's kind of it on this level. And this is our military level. Um, barracks for, for training the melee squads and the, the ammo, the, the marks dwarfs. And then some barracks for them. And then this is our trade goods depot. It is stuffed to the gills. My god. My god. Um, and then our nobles quarters, which are very meager, but that's all we need. 
Um, our Baroness died very early on, so, you know, we got a mayor. <laughs> that's what we got. Um, yeah, and that's, and that's kind of that. Um, and then we have some stockpile zones. This is like our overflow food because we have so much food. You, you'll see that we have 11,000 meat. Which is just a thing. Um, and then our finished goods stockpile, this big L shape, is huge. Um, all of our cloth, all of our leather, uh, uncut gems, cut gems, this is the dye, um, bones, and so on and so forth. The main thing to know is that we have kind of a vertical sandwich here. We have all of our workshops are right here. Um, this is our this is our production floor. This is all we've needed this whole time. This like this is even over to kill uh, to some degree. Um, but we but we have uh, stairwells in each of these little cells. They go up and down um, so that they can access all their materials. Um, siege workshop, stone, mechanics, soap, craft dwarves, leather, wood furnace, and then all of our cloth stuff. Um, these farmers' workshops are specifically hey, look, a migrant. Um, these farmers' workshops are here for spinning the wool. So they just have individual spin thread jobs. And then this is the wool stockpile. Um, and then the the dye, the clothers, the loom. That's all here. This is for gems. This is uh, our, our gems are set up so that there's uh, we can encrust furniture. So we have like a, a furniture encrust input and an output set up here. So we have a bunch of uh, encrusted porcelain statues here already. Put them wherever you want. Um, but then the gems come from here. So these these two are set up so that they can cut gems, and then these two are set up so that they can encrust things. Uh, nothing else too fancy, and then some more overflow <laughs> stockpiles here. Um, we have too much stuff. And then, yeah, this is mostly stone. Um, or for the forges. Um, and this, you see the start of our bedrooms up here. This is the top of our kitchen area. Um, but the main thing you'll see is that, like, this stockpile is not connected to our main walkways in here. And that's on purpose. Um, oh, I should explain the waterfalls. The waterfalls are important. We have the, the main transit system in our, in our fortress is this spiral here. Um, you have a ramp. You go down, there's a ramp, and you go down, there's a ramp, and it just spirals all the way around. And as part of the spiral, we also have waterfalls. Um, so you can see there's water falling in this tile. We'll see if it if it mists. They mist occasionally. There we go. Yeah, so mist out into the hallway. So everyone's getting happy waterfall thoughts every time they're walking up and down the main stairwell. But because I want them walking through those waterfalls so frequently, there aren't a lot of ways to get from A to B without using the waterfalls. Um, so like these stockpiles down here, you only can access from the shop floor. Um, like you, this is the entrance to the shop area, and then the shops are linked to the stockpile floors directly through these stairwells, and the stockpiles are not linked to anywhere else. If someone wants to grab furniture, they come in, they go down two levels, and then they're in the furniture stockpile. They can't get there from the middle. Um, and that should stay that way. Um, like these aren't connected because these are two different things. This is the food stuff, this is the, the workshop stuff. And these are the bedrooms. I don't want... I, yeah, I want them to, to have to go through the middle to go from A to B every single time. And you can see what effect that's had. It's had been, been very good. We have a very happy fortress. Look at our crime. Look at our crime! Our guards are very bored here. Um, but that's good. That's a good thing. Um... And then yeah, here's our here's our dining hall, here's our lever room, here's our our kitchen itself, and then another uh, garbage uh, minecart. Um, this goes down to our 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 incinerator. All of these honeybee remains. I'm so confused as to why the individual honeybees need to be dealt with, but there you go. 
Um, but this is where the food happens. This food stockpile is specifically prepared meals and booze. And then all the other food stockpiles are like ingredients and things. Um, oh, and like up here we have, this is specific for dimple cups. And it's feeding to some of our millstones here so that we can make dimple dye. Um, and we've got some bags here. And we have another one for whip vines. And we have another one for paper crops. Um, so pigtails and rope reed. We're not making paper right now. We're not grinding whip weed right now. Or whip vine. Because we have so much. Um, we have a back, we have a stack... Words. We have a stockpile of wood. We have a stockpile of whip vine flower. Um, so those aren't being ground right now, but they could be very easily. Just link them up to here. Um, and yeah. Um, and then some farmer's workshops for, for general jobs. And then, yeah, um, bedrooms, stockpiles. Uh, you can see more bedrooms. Uh, this is our hospital, pretty standard hospital setup. And there's some more wells. We actually have wells in uh, the dining hall as well, which is convenient. Uh, but there's more wells here for the hospital. And here's our wood. Here's our magma forges. These are powered by four small pools of magma that are directly below. And they are, there's no more magma anywhere. This, I, I brought this magma up by minecart and, and then called it good. Uh, but we have, this should be all of the, the, the magma smelting you, you need. Um, so we have forges, smelters, and then a glass furnace and a kiln. So you could make uh, you can use all that kalanite to make a bunch of statues if you want to, or like porcelain goods even. Whatever the heck you want. No, not that we're short on goods. We don't need more goods, but you can do whatever you want. These are our long stay people rooms. These are our, our dungeon cells. Here's our minecart track running down. Um, here's more wood storage. Here's our artifact vault. Um, this is set up as a meeting area that only allows citizens, which has been good for uh, reducing theft. We have had a couple of thefts, but not not a lot, really. Uh, more bedrooms, more minecart stuff. Uh, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Here's our religious quarter. Uh, one big temple and then a bunch of small temples. This one is for our big established religion, which is the Denomination of Whispering. Um, and then we have library and guild halls. We have a guild hall made for each major profession, plus we have a couple spare rooms. Um, not everyone has requested a, a guild hall, but they all have one. Some of these are made a little bit fancier. Um, oh, Bathru is in here pondering lunar and solar years. He recently discovered that the Earth revolves around the sun. Very big deal. Bathru is a big deal. <laughs> um, so he's in here pondering. Um, I've been mulling over lunar and solar years. It makes me very anxious. Everything makes him anxious. Curious. Uh, but we got like 67 books in here. And all these choirs. And all his paper. Oh, we've gone through most of our paper though. So maybe you might need to make some more paper at some point. But we do have a lot of choirs. We have a lot of choirs. So you're, you're probably good. Um, and then this is the workshop that we're using for uh, binding the books and making the choirs because it's right here next to the library. Here's all of our dyed animal thread hair that I have dumped here uh, because it just ends up in the, uh, the workshops. It ends up in the dyer shop and then can't go anywhere and clogs up the shops. But it can be used for binding books. Um, so hopefully they, they figure out how to... Hopefully a bunch of our books are made out of... Um, like bound with, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, dyed llama here. Not even llama, because uh, I took a turn into cloth, like dyed um, stoat hair. We had a lot of stoats early on. Uh, does this not describe, it doesn't describe it, whatever. Um, and then here, uh, we have a uh, cemetery. We have rooms for uh, slabs. And then we have our web farm. This is very fancy. Um, if you need more webs, then here here they are. Um, like I've even turned this off because it it produces 
silk so fast. It's it makes so much more of silk than we need it so than we need from it. So it's just inert right now. Um, but if you need more silk, um, I mean, first of all, you should just uh, take this bridge and then give it a, a, a lower and a, a raise. It's just a retracting bridge. So all of that silk will end up in here. And then you can just turn a, uh, uh, add a, 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 a collect webs job and just put it on repeat from here. And then someone will just go and, and make a whole bunch of silk thread. Um, but if you've used what's in here, then what you do is you lower this bridge. Uh, yeah, web farm line of sight. You lower this bridge so that the, the abaku can see our bird. And it will spit webs. Uh, but then we have these three retracting bridges. And they are triggered by this pressure plate, which can get run over by this minecart. Uh, so I think it's this lever. Yeah, so you would just turn on the web farm repeater power. And then this minecart just going to go around in a circle real slow and it's going to make these bridges go close or open then close then open then close real slow and then any any webs that are on here get dropped onto this bridge which makes them stack and then once you're satisfied with how many webs you have here you you just do this bridge you know down and up once and you collect all the webs you can do that forever abaku is stuck here this bird is invincible. Uh, infinite webs. Infinite silk. Um, you'll notice that a lot of people in our fortress are wearing Abaku silk garments, specifically. And that's because that's where they came from. Um, are people come back yet? No? Have they left yet? Not yet. Sure asked. Sure asked has been the slow one. Three times in a row now. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Um, obviously, here's some bedrooms. Um, this is like the entrance to the caves down here. Here's more tombs, more bedrooms. Um, this is the, the latch for the uh, Colosseum fight pit, whatever you want to call it up there. And then this is the bottom of the waterfall. Um, this, is the, this is the bottom pipe, bottom pump. Um, and then this is a little reservoir, so you can see the, the waterfalls drain into here and then just get pumped up. And it's just a big closed loop. Um, and then the wells, uh, both of our, our hospital well and our, door, our dining hall well come out from here. Um, and they're, they're just, it's the same reservoir, it's just the one reservoir. Um, so the waterfalls are a closed loop. And you can see there's, there's water in here. And it just kind of spills down and then ends up at the bottom and gets pumped back up. It does dry out occasionally, though. Um, so if you if you see like the stuff in here is just sitting at like ones and twos or it's starting to dry out or it's bone dry, um, what you're going to want to do is you come up here. So this is our this is our reservoir, and the reservoir drains into here and is controlled uh, mainly by these two floodgates. Um, so you will just pull this lever. You'll open these floodgates. A bunch of water will rush in. It goes real fast because of all this water here. The pressure is, is pretty high. So you only need to leave it open for maybe 30 seconds even. And then close it again. Uh, make sure you close it again. Fortress will flood if you do not. Do not flood the fortress. Um, I've only done that a couple times. Uh, so, so definitely don't introduce too much water. Uh, but keep, keep the water going. And then the waterfalls will keep going and everyone will stay happy. That's all you gotta do. And then what else do we got? It's kinda... Wait, I need to understand this? Oh, okay. Um, I think that's like... the bulk of it. Um, well, we can just do it now. Like, we have we have some water in here, but... Uh, like, there could be more in here, right? It's at fours and fives. Um, so we just come here. And then you can you find its linked lever. 50% chance the water runs out and I don't know what to do. 40% chance I flood the port. 10% to do it right. Yeah. Well. Um, I'll also show you what happens if you if you do put in too much water. Because um, that was tricky. Um, but uh, you you 
go to this lever and you pull it. Someone's gonna pull it. It's just one of the mini levers down by the, the dining hall. Come on, there we go. So someone pulled it and now you can see there's a delay. So now the water is going in and the, the drains are here and here. Like I'm even just gonna pull it immediately again because there's, pro there's probably already enough water in there. Um, but it doesn't take much, even if it's dry. Um, 30, 45 seconds tops. Um, and remember when you pull it to close, it takes a second for it to actually close. So keep that in mind. That's all you got to do. There is now more water in there. You can see there's uh, like a bunch of sevens and stuff in here. Um, if you do too much water, what happens is the, these tiles where the waterfall is actually happening, you'll end up with a whole bunch of standing water here. Because it won't, like, there will be too much water here and the water here won't be able to drain. So you end up with like a stack of water here and then someone walks through it and drowns. That's only happened a couple times. Um, so too much water is bad. Um, if you get too much water, there is a drain, but the drain does not work automatically. Um, and this is something that I would improve on with my next design of the same thing. But um, the idea was that we, we had a drain here. So like this is just a channel and then a channel. And then this goes down uh, to the caves and, and drains out through a... Oh, hey, a raid! Hello, hello! Policy of Madness. Excellent. I'm doing a fortress tour because... I mean, A, why not? Um, you join it at an amazing time. Oh my god, the bombs! Greetings, how goes it? I'm going over the, all the details of my fortress because I'm about to turn it into a succession fortress for my viewers. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I'm giving instructions on how to take care of this fortress while I'm away so that viewers can can handle it um, and then when I come back to it I'll go over everything that my viewers have done uh, while I was away and we'll go through we'll go through it and then I will resume um, that's that's my plan um, so if you if you a cat emote excellent that's an excellent rate emote um, we have a catamote. Can I do... How do I do mine? Bam. <laughs> I, have, I have commissioned other emotes. Um, I haven't had them show up yet. If I was mod, I'd shout you out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can do that. I have to type your whole name. Is that how that works? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, now we're saving. Um, but yes, um, this fortress is quite well established. Everything's kind of running. Um, I was also doing Dwarf Fortress. I played No Migration Forts, and this fort has been in a special challenge. Very cool. Very cool. So you just start with your seven and just stick with your seven. Um, the history of this fortress, um, you can see if we go back up to our... S nope, that was wrong. That was wrong. Go up to our surface. This is a one tile fortress. Um, this is our entire fortress. Um, oh, and we're being sieged. Welcome goblins. You can see how this works. I can demonstrate to you how we deal with a siege. Um, we even have all of our people are back. All of our raiders are back. Excellent. We are at full strength here. Because my starting seven were all men, so there were no babies. Oh, okay. For a long time, had to create holdings to request new workers because no holdings got established near me in ten plus years. I think you don't you have to like reach a certain population before you even qualify for holdings. Is that how, isn't that how that works? I almost think like if you just have your seven, I don't know that you would ever actually end up with holdings. So I don't actually, I don't actually know. Anyway, um, let's activate civilian alert. That's important. 
Not sure what the trigger is, but whatever it is, I didn't reach it. Yeah, I want to say there's either a population or a... Uh, like an economy trigger. For... Like, you might have to be a barony before you even can have holdings. So created holdings by conquering kobold caves. There you go. Six independent caves now. Very cool. Okay. Civilian alert on. Ranged dwarves. Patrol the wall. Melee dwarves. I'm going to take all of our melee dwarves. And we're just going to station them out in the courtyard. And then I'm going to raise a couple bridges to put us in siege footing. I'm going to raise that one. I'm also going to raise our garbage one. Um, and that's closed. And then, yeah, I think we're good. So here come the goblins. Here come the goblins. We've been raiding them on the world map. Oh, there's the thieves. <laughs> they get spotted by our goblins on the walls. Is this just going to be... This is going to be another tiny one. Okay. So I want to try our new this trap. Okay. Let's see. I think, I think it's just set to work. I have that same tapestry on my wall. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So they're, they're going to not be able to get through here, and they're going to be guided down. Apparently, sometimes Twitch decides to glitch on raids. Weird. Weird. Um... So yeah, here we go. Here's my here's my beast trap. Um, and this is gonna be like the first real test of it. Uh, we had we had a we had a an, an attempt on it. Okay, so pressure plate was pushed, and now they're raised. Okay, so we only got one in here, but it worked as expected. So now I'm just gonna open the divider. And Deerloo here is going to attack our single goblin any second now. I'm hoping to get like some bigger batches in there, but you know, how did you man manage to get that many forgotten beasts? We have so many forgotten beasts. That's a dead goblin. <laughs> um, okay, and now I can just raise. This is good to just to demonstrate as well. So we're gonna raise the divider. So long as Dirlu isn't standing on the on the thing. Oh come on. Let's trap him in here. Um This is like a very small percentage of the of the forgotten beasts that we've had. <laughs> we've had so many. I wanna say part of it's like our wealth. Like look at our look at this. Um we have made so much stuff here. Are you just eating the corpse? What are you doing there? Oh, you're injured. Okay, fine, whatever. Are you gonna move? You gonna move? How long have you been playing this fortress? This one we embarked here in year 121. Uh, so 25 years. Almost exactly. Um, and one... Th you're just not gonna move, are you? There you go. Oh, come on. Um, one, it's a one by one embark, and I capped us at 50 dwarves for a very long time. And I also capped us at 50 FP FPS. So we spent, uh, come on. We spent many, many streams here at full on 50 FPS with a fully happy fortress, 50 dwarves. Um, everything's been working so nicely here. Come on, move, move. This is the one downside of this is you just have to be lucky with the beast not being on the gate at the time that you reset it. Um, they've, they've finished their siege though. They don't want to siege no more. Did they climb out? Where'd they go? Wait, let's just open it. Let's just open it. Um, and yeah, we're, we're shooting. Look at all of our soldiers. Very nice. And we're shooting from the walls. Yeah, look at this. It works. It works. I've had sieges be entirely thwarted by my dwarves on the walls, and they don't even get into the gatehouse. It's been very effective. 
Uh, long for it, currently sitting at year four, but I feel like I haven't hardly done anything. It's, yeah, it takes a while to feel like you've actually accomplished what you want to do. Yeah, here we go. You want to come this way, right? Soldiers. Attack. Someone will get a kill in there. Um, what else was I going to say? I, you just really like being on the corpse, don't you? <laughs> poke. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. Very good. Very good. Is that a minecart grinder I see? It sure is. Um, I've recently upgraded it with bronze minecarts because the wooden ones were getting busted a little too much. Um, but yeah, it's just... it's my Goblin Blender. Okay, are you gonna... are you gonna move? You're just gonna hang out right there. Done a lot of raiding to get my six holdings. One of my military dwarves has an elderly war dog companion who has like 40 kills. Wow! Very nice. We've just recently started raiding the world map, uh, just for the sake of reducing the number of goblins so we're we're here these are the goblins <laughs> they've just been growing uh, so we recently just took out the dark pits of bad faith and then there was another one that already re geared to dooms yeah it's not quite dead it's a lot of goblins um yeah I agree so I have two squads, like I'm even gonna, let's just send them out again. Um, where do we want to raid? Let's just do horror dwelling, that one's close. Um, those are my two raid squads, we're just gonna, we're just gonna raise. And send them back out. Um, and then you can stop what you're doing. And then they'll head out, and they'll come back eventually, and then we can clear the civilian alert. I think we're good on goblins. We can open this door. So that people can actually get out. And then we unforbid the garbage. So that our dwarves come and put all of the goblin corpses in the minecart. And then and then we're good. Now we're we're reset. That was a siege. Done. Um, and then yeah, um, so the we have the incinerator, and it's all set up so that it's taking uh, trash down, all the way down, and then the kitchen is doing the same thing. Uh, they're both coming down to just below cave one, right here. Um, so we have these hatches, the minecarts are uh, being pushed down, and then they dump their contents onto one of these two hatches, this one's for stairs. Uh, and then, uh, as a, and then we're not doing a powered return. As a dwarf comes and pushes the minecart back up, uh, it pushes the pressure plate, and then that triggers the the hatch, and that dumps all the garbage down into the the incinerator, which is this. You know, it even we even flooded a bit, didn't we? That's interesting. All of our garbage, all of our melted gar garbage in here. So yeah, that's how we're dealing with garbage. Raiding provides a lot of XP, more than I had known before. I trained my mighty military of four dwarves to adequate in their skills, and now they are legendary. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. I was training them a bit before sending them out, um, but now I'm not going to worry about it too much. And they're already gone. There's only two left that are one needing to come back. Or needing to be needing to leave. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the long and short of it. Um, it's early winter. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah. Um, I am kind of at the end of my stream here, and by kind of, I mean I've gone over. But. Um, that's kind of. 
kind of the long and short of what we have going on here in our fortress. Um, and at this point, I am going to turn it over and uh, it's, going to, it's going to become a temporary succession fortress. Um, so if that interests you, then join my Discord, because I'm just going to run it through there. But um, I am going to uh, play Armored Core when it comes out on Thursday. And that'll be that'll be the thing that I obsess about for a little bit, I think. Um, I am I'm anticipating fixating on it. So um, I want to give myself room to focus on it. Um, because I don't, I, I don't have like a full-time stream schedule. I'm just streaming three times a week, so it would take a while to get through, uh, to get through a game like Armored Core. I imagine if only doing it like on Saturdays, wouldn't quite work. So I'm not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let viewers take care of this fortress, and then when we come back, uh, we will, we'll go over what happened, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll recount your stories on stream and we'll we'll see what happened and you'll all get your chance to leave your mark on this fortress um yeah so that's that's exciting um yeah i am gonna i'm gonna progress this uh i'm gonna go until the end of winter um on my own we'll just do that i'll just do that off stream um see before I forget but yes um, if that interests you then join the discord if not then you can still stick around I mean that's fine um, but I'll come back on Thursday come back on Thursday I'm playing armor core I'm even taking a day off work so I'm gonna do like a longer stream um, I'll start earlier in the day um, but then yeah uh, then this is like all three of my stream slots are just gonna be are gonna be armor core I'm, I'm quite hyped. I'm very excited. Um, so Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, that's what I typically do. All three of those are going to be Armored Core for a little bit. Um, if you want your Dwarf Fortress fix, if you want your fix of Face Earths, the Fortress, then join the Discord. And I've made a, um, there's a special channel in there for the Succession specifically, so just peep up in there and we'll get that going. Um, other than that, um, I mean, oh, I, uh, since there's new people here, today's episode was brought to you by Sunsets. They sponsored last week as well, so they came back. Um, I don't do, I'm not doing sponsorships. I'm not bothering with any of that junk. So, uh, this, really, this is brought to you by you clicking the buttons down there, following, subscribing, liking, joining the Discord, all that kind of stuff. That's all I'm going for right now. That's all I'm needing. So... So come along. Um, I'm also doing some crafting stuff. I'm working on a cosplay right now. Um, no one's guessed what it is yet. Jam has gotten quite close. Jam has figured out what franchise it's from, but no one's figured out the character that I'm making. Um, and that'll be that'll be good. Um, oh, and I you got stuck in there. There's little things that people get stuck in. Um, maybe you want some bombs? Have some bombs. Also, I did that. Isn't that cool? Um, I turned I turned the in-game Dwarf Fortress assets into into little avatars. Because no one told me not to. Anyway, um yeah, I hope you come by. I hope you come by on Thursday and check out Armor Core. I hope you I hope you come by and, and say hi. I hope you stick around. Uh, but most of all, I hope you stay kind. 